Hello. Oh my god, thank you overzealous yeah. for gifting two tier one subs to Glass Beach Band's community. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, Hi. thank you. <laughs> How do I, can I how do I see like everybody who has subbed in the last like five minutes? Because there's been a lot, and thank you everybody. Yeah, and wow. just go through and say thanks. Hearts. Yeah, just if 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 you subbed, thank you. Hello, yeah, hello, thank you. hello. Thank you, hello. Oh my god, wow. space terrier. Oh, there we go. <laughs> thank you for Gifting the gift wow. subs. Will you know we're inside? I'm here. Hey, wait. I'm here. <laughs> space terrier has gifted a total of seventy four in the channel over the years. Holy shit! Wow. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay. Well, this is the biggest hype train we've seen on here. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi. To... I yeah, would William. like. Uh, oh, I see Swamp Child. I would, yeah, I, Swamp I would like Child. everyone to let us know if our if the audio sounds good. Oh yeah, <laughs> if we all kind of sound at about the same. Because level. it's hard to monitor. I don't know if you know this, but if you do live streaming, it's really hard to monitor your audio. John and Heather see. Audio is cool. awesome, says Harley cool. Long. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should all it introduce ourselves great. so we all like. Yeah, awesome. yeah let's speaking. do some introductions. Yeah, TL. sounds like we nailed it. Hey, I love you. Is there? TL Gay yeah, says <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> did good, William. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's start over here and introduce ourselves. Hi, also, I'm our Jay. camera's right there if you care. I feel like anybody oh. watching this stream knows who I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, can, I, can I just can I just say real quick? Um, what do you call this? The like windsock. Yeah, it smells really strange. Probably because it's never been cleaned. It's it's like <laughs> it's like some like perverse version of like new car smell. Mm. It, it smells normal. So like in, bad, in, in like bad case, car smell. Like it's like it's like you know like a new car smells good because of the cleaning chemicals or whatever the fuck they put on it. It's like if you just like huffed that. I straight, think I I think I know, you know exactly why it is that. It's because in the case, uh -huh. the mics have a spot, but the windscreens do not. Okay. So they just like they just get smashed between the foam in the case. Okay. So it's probably just like absorbing the foam smell. I guess. Would mm, anybody get smell. mad if I took it off? Uh, if you take it off, just hold the microphone a little bit further away from your mouth. Okay, because it kind of makes me want to throw up. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss it. Get rid of it. Cool. Get rid of that shit. Yeah. 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 So that's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're four, so let me... Me. Okay. Hi, I'm Dax. I do art. It's not a pop filter. That's a different thing. Yeah, pop filter goes... Yeah. <laughs> pop, fil pop filter goes. This yeah. is a wind sock. It's called a wind sock. Which I'm actually is... not 100% sure. I, that's a thing that I have called it. Mm. I, mean, I know it's, it's, it's a wind I'm screen. pretty sure a wind screen is wind also. I, I, I would I would bet some amount of money that that is also like a city in England somewhere. Wind sock. Wind sock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wind sock. Or a neighborhood, or at least a pub. I'm Jonas, by the way. Hi. Maybe the mic just smells weird. <laughs> Maybe it's the inside of your nose, dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Huh? No, you're the dog. I'm you're... the dog. I'm the That's dog. True. What's that? I'm, I'm the dog, man, or whatever. You're the man now, dog? <laughs> you're the man now, dog, yeah. I'm yeah. the dog now, man. All right. <laughs> what is that? Did you introduce oh, yourself? Ha have that? people been calling me Daxy or Dakes? Because I've, he I've heard it all. Don't worry. Oh, I always thought it was Dasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I saw. I saw. There was someone. Um, I don't own a Blahage. There was someone. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, well, never Blahage, actually Blahage, Blahage or something. Yeah, the shark. The the. Yeah, I know what that. The IKEA, IKEA shark. I know I what that is. I prefer I don't the know pronunciation is. Daisy. <laughs> no, they're saying no, 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 no about blow high. What? I made it. I don't know. What. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it it rhymes with axe. I yeah. Oh, blow high. Oh. Anyway, I thought it was Blahage. I thought it was Blahage. I say Blahage. Whatever. <laughs> I thought we were talking about that thing no. Lemmy says. Blah, 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 him. <laughs> Blahage. Blahage, boys. Okay. But you see, Jay is not your average tea girl, so. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Jay is Blingus. exceptional. Blingus. Uh, what is dog's name? The dog, Blah. her name is Markle right Blah. here. Yeah. That's Markle. Blah. So Jay Dax, Markle Jonas. I'm her favorite pillow. Well, That's true. And William. Yeah, I'm William. Stretch, but... I'm William. Hello. I do the drums. And I'm Lane. I am here. Great. Cool. <laughs> I, play I am. Wait, guy, wait, Lane. Lane, Lane. Just... <laughs> I am here. Hello, Classic John. Now. Hey, <laughs> hey, everyone. Classic John helped with the CIA and uh, and the Coelacanth music videos and also a music video that has yet to come out. Mm -hmm. can, we, can we watch uh, I Am Here? Now by Neil Breen instead of, On listening, to oh, instead of listening to this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's oh, get, I, we got a poll going in chat. I really feel I just, like watching a Neil Breen movie right wait, now. I, I just that? I just want to say just just to let you know the only reason that I'm that I'm getting this chair is because I I, I found it and yes. brought it here and so and I couldn't fit it down into uh, my room 
And so it had to go up here. And so instead, William was like, you can just sit in that chair if you want. And I was like, cool, I want to sit in this chair. Wait, how's the name of what song pronounced? Coelacanth, I think they were. Oh, the the first song. Coelacanth. 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 Yeah, don't worry. When Jay first... The, when I saw the it spelled out, I also had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, it's really funny because a lot of people see that and they're like, "What? What is this like Latin bullshit?" And it's like, yeah. if you if you were on Tumblr, you'd know. People are obsessed with coelacanth. Mm, I always called it like koala koalacanth. <laughs> yeah, like, ko- koalacanth. Koalacanth. <laughs> it it is it is a famous animal on certain corners of the internet. Is it a <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of people know it from Animal Crossing. This also. would be the equivalent of the creation of Glass Beach's uh, second album. No, this is not. No, there, there, there will be a second documentary at some point. We have the footage. We just like are too busy to cut it together. There's a lot of footage. There's seven terabytes. Yeah, several days worth of footage. Mm. Several days worth of footage. Oh <laughs> so, so this is not a replacement for that. That's like, and eventually we'll probably do one of these for the first record. We just we keep meaning to, but not yeah. doing it. Yeah, there's just a lot going on right now. Well, uh, but we'll be freed up soon, maybe. Yeah, potentially. after <laughs> after tour. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. If we might release the the second album documentary before the fifth album is out. <laughs> the fifth? <laughs> yeah. Before the fifth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, trans people on the couch documentary number two. Oh, actually, <laughs> I understand that now because someone on in the comments of the the making of the first one was like, "This is just three non-binary people on a couch talking." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is you what don't that was. A lot of movies that do yeah. that. By the way, welcome yeah. to the Seattle Tacoma area. Mm-hmm. I'm not in the area right now, but tis my normal place of residence. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah, Thank love it. Thank here. you. We That's are in place. the area. Yeah. <laughs> I saw someone asking if we'll ever play Toronto. Uh, Toronto! No. We, we'd love no, to. Fuck, no, no, fuck Toronto. We would love to, but we <laughs> we'll, won't. We'll play Canada, but not Toronto specifically. Um, I have a bunch of family in Canada, okay. so it's definitely a goal of mine to get us up there. Well, I hate to I hate to move past this introduction phase too fast, but the album is an hour and three minutes long. So how do we? Oh God, really? I, I might have to dip out a little early. Then. How do we? <laughs> how do we feel about just hopping in here pretty soon? I, I'm gonna give a spiel oh, really swains. quick. The Swains, yeah. The Swains. Will you, will you ever play New Jersey? Uh, no. I live in Seattle. I'm going to your concert this March. <laughs> <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> uh, Australia. We we talk about like scared we, of kangaroos. No. Yeah. 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 I'll fuck with drop bears. Yeah. Yeah. yeah drop bears. Drop bears. Kangaroos. Too scary. Too scary. <laughs> I, actually there are so many things in australia that are legitimately terrifying to me i know i know the like the stereotype is just like there's a bunch of spiders and creatures and yeah. stuff but there are hey i'm yeah. less afraid of are. spiders and creatures than i am like people in america so i'll, yeah. I'll... <laughs> look look there, there's yeah. a tra- there's a trade-off we get there's a bunch of dangerous animals but they have what are those things called the, the cocas oh yeah they're cute yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, they're super friendly, and they're just like they always look like they're smiling whenever people take pictures of them. Oh, you know yes, yes, let me, yes, yes. Hey, let me just give like a good sweeping statement for for everybody here. Uh, we have the tour this year that has been announced. Um, there are no other tours that we are currently like seriously planning, but there are lots of places we want to go. Yeah. And there is no part of the world that we're just like, fuck that. We're not going there. It's just kind of a matter of logistics. Uh, it's also... We, we, we have talked to international tours a lot, but there's like no uh, concrete plans right now. I also want to say that like part of this tour is also <laughs> like trying out a few things because part of... Uh, it, some of y'all may have seen us talking about this, but we're trying to be extremely careful with COVID, partially because tour insurance companies don't really cover COVID anymore. So you lose a ton of money if you cancel tour because of COVID, but also just because you, you don't COVID's bad. It sucks. And uh, if things go well, then hopefully that'll mean that we can look into more places and do more stuff. But there's, there's a lot that's kind of like, let's see how this tour goes and see yeah. how things turn out because if they turn out well, then cool. But things could also turn out kind of bad and we're just not sure. And we're taking it as we go. Yeah, LB we'll is not a fan of COVID. We'd love to no, go to Mexico. Yeah. Not I mean, a... seen a lot of COVID bad in the chat. That's a kind of, that's a kind of hate I can get behind. Novid. <laughs> no, not in the COVID <laughs> fandom. Definitely, definitely hitting up the rest of North America is going to be like an early priority for, yeah. for international and like mm-hmm. EU. 
is, yeah. is going to be an, a, oh. an early priority. We should yeah. be clear. We are a fan of kangaroos. They're just terrifying. And They're scary. Oh, yeah. No, I think, like I think the... nature should be scary, like yeah. to keep humanity in check. You know. Yeah. yeah. I, I love and hate seeing kangaroos. Like photos of kangaroos are just like ripped, like a dude at the gym. Oh yeah. Like they have like human shaped muscles. They're dogs. monstrous. They're so monstrous. I, I saw like... somebody have a question about if they like had to walk away and and pause the album and come back. Like uh, we're we're gonna be just going straight through, but there's gonna be yeah. like a progress bar on the screen mm -hmm. i believe that bottom, you can yeah. you can yeah. always sync back up with yeah. where we I are can, on i can the do the spiel Although, now oh i would just say yeah, within reason it. before we <laughs> do the spiel if you didn't have to go to the bathroom and step away just let us know and we'll pause it too we'll, we'll all pause it <laughs> we won't do we'll that it's <laughs> 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 a joke it's <laughs> a joke we're not gonna do that listen to william now. everyone pause three two one <laughs> okay so. hey, it's like getting like a nasty version of new car smell like a covid symptom <laughs> you... uh, no? i don't think so oh my god as of today it is the un passed a new covid yeah law. <laughs> <laughs> all right william what, what the fuck are we doing here um somebody oh somebody used exclamation point listen and it didn't drop the link what Whoa. uh that's a problem maybe there's like a timer thing yeah. like if it was maybe, maybe. Can someone try, try it again? again. Yeah. yeah. Tr well, I'm sure someone else will get to it before. Oh, it works. Oh, yeah, it works. It just okay, takes cool. a second. It just took a second. Okay. Mubot's just like, um, give me just a moment. <laughs> I want to say, William, I, we we here at Glass Beach have been a fan of the show for a while, and it's really fun to finally uh, be on oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 yeah so. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah. So I've done I've done like about fifty of these. Uh, this is our first time like covering our music explicitly. I did the remix album for the very first one ever. Uh, yeah. the, the impetus there was that I loved a lot of the remixes that got made and I just wanted to show them off. And then I've done like stuff with Origami Angel. They've come on and uh, covered a couple of their albums. Uh, I've done stuff with Pink Shift. Yes, and... chat is on a big monitor or a TV. Big, huge mm -hmm. monitor, yeah. I still got big it on my right phone. in front of us. Yeah. In case yeah. I need to... Hecra. Oh, yeah, that Hecra listen along. Oh, yeah, we really did the cool. Hecra one, yeah. yeah. That was great. Yeah, so I've done it. I've done a ton of these. They're very cool. I haven't done a lot lately because we've just been busy with our stuff. Yeah, yeah. we did Left at London as well. Yeah, so uh, I, I'm planning on doing more of these like sporadically. Yeah, Homeless Warrior. Yep, yep, yep. Did a uh, ton of them. Yep. Uh, but if you haven't been one of these before, basically, uh, we just listened to uh, an album with the people who made it. Who this time it's us, and. Uh, we go from start to finish, no stopping, and we won't be playing the music live on stream. Uh, you can do a harsh noise remix of the album if you want. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm yeah. working on a noise album, so look out for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, you I'll will. Talk. Yeah, you will have to pull up the the album yourself. That's what exclamation point listen should bring yeah. up like a hyperlink information over there. Like next yeah, to yeah. Uh, <laughs> there should be a hyperlink that'll have. Uh, every way that you can listen to it. Um, if you're going to listen to it on like Bandcamp, for example, that's not, uh, you, you have to have like a Chrome extension that lets you change the volume of, of like a tab compared to like this live stream because mm -hmm. people have tried to do that before and like you can't like, like band, browser, yeah share volume levels yeah so you would have to do that uh but if you use an app or something like we'll be using the green music app begrudgingly but uh you can control the volume in there separately if you're on a phone you probably can't have the stream and the album pulled up at the same time so sorry about that but this will be a vod that mm -hmm. we'll put up on youtube uh, afterwards and so I saw if, someone asking earlier past VODs are on YouTube as well yeah past yep. VODs are on YouTube those are all on the second Glass Beach channel on YouTube mm -hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to put this one on the main channel uh, yeah. just because it's explicitly about our music so I'm probably going to put this on there but all the other ones are on a, on a channel called the second Glass Beach channel mm -hmm. yeah so uh, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of time to pull up the album uh, either Green Music App Fruit with the Bite Taken Out of It um, Record Player the Jay Z one, yeah, yeah, pull it up on vinyl. yeah, you can pull it up. That will be kind of hard to sync. Yeah, it will be. It will be hard. CD We've had do it. We've had people do like tapes. Yeah, if oh, somebody yeah. has a tape of something, they listen to it uh, along with it, and, I mean, and it, someone, it gets a little off. New ground. I mean, if someone has the the files, they can all their, their media player. Did, do, do people VLC. listen to music on oh, Newgrounds? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, somebody was asking about putting our music on Newgrounds so you, you can use it in Geometry Dash. Oh, VLC I don't, I don't really know much that about that. Cool. That whole—I mean, uh, I've heard of that game, but 
I haven't. Yeah, someone That's says cool. hi YouTube VOD watchers. Hello. Hello. Hello YouTube. YouTube. Welcome Hello, to Black Beach. Okay, cool. Are well, we are we let's let's take are a minute? simulcasting to YouTube also or no? No. No, no we, I didn't I didn't we, we could have. I are didn't. we live? Are we live? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kinda of surprised no one's asked about Osu. <laughs> oh yeah. We, one person asked us if uh, maybe it was a DM. Or listen to it on OS. We were putting the second album on <laughs> the OS. Speed run world record. Um, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Too. Why is Silicant pronounced Silicant? Ask the fucking Romans. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not uh, my shitty language. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, cool take thing. take a minute. Everybody, pull up the album in whatever way you're going to listen to it. If you're listening to it on an Whoa. app, make sure it might that be you, Greek origin. Make I sure that you no have idea. shuffle off. <laughs> Like turn <laughs> turn shuffle off a lot of the uh, a lot of the um I know the green music app if you updated it recently it uh defaults you to quote unquote like smart shuffle oh it's Greek okay okay mm, it's Greek sure it's still Austin, not my language Austin actually has the right answer if we want to know why it's pronounced Elacanth because it's in the C yep <laughs> okay <laughs> cool I see Elacanth. I, I eat lacan. I eat lacan. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> dude I love bony fish <laughs> yeah. Amarita falsetto. Why is sea like a pronounced osu? <laughs> I love, I love, I love bony osu. fish too. I, especially uh, that song, Skinny Love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all like a just a second longer, and then we're gonna get into this. The Caesar I, salad of camp. Uh, this part's really important. <laughs> yes, listen to William. It's important and no jokes. So, because we're not playing the songs live on stream and you're pulling them up, uh, we're going to be hitting play and you're going to be hitting play. That has to be through a countdown where we all do it at the same time. So, I'm going to uh, do a countdown when I am about to hit play and I will say three, two, one, go. That wasn't it. Uh, but that is what it will sound like when I do it. And we will all hit play on go. So again, it's three, two, one, go. That wasn't it. And that also wasn't it, but that is what it's going to sound like. Um, I, I'm on mo mobile, so unfortunately, I can't actually listen. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But but again, this will be a VOD. You can return to it. Uh, we're going to be talking. This is basically going to be like album commentary. You know, like if you've ever, ever seen film commentary or anything like that. So this will be like a living, not a living, but a... Uh, consistent, like you can go to return to it, hear what we have yeah. to say. Mm -hmm. um, you can play it along with the album if you feel You'll, if you if feel you like listening to. If you us can't play the album, just like remember it. Yeah, just like, remember the album. When I, when I was a kid and I was like on road trips, I, I used to just like memorize SpongeBob episodes, and I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna watch SpongeBob, and I'd just close my eyes. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> okay cool um, wow that's awesome so last call yeah if you can't play along with it uh hopefully you've listened to it so many times that you remember I'm everything glad chad understands yes <laughs> I mean, it's related to the themes of the album in some ways i would say oh yeah <laughs> just like i mean we can talk about it later all right i'm gonna i'm gonna start it because at this point you know we got an hour and three minutes left to go yep um <laughs> jinx <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's right if you don't have like oh please uh, make a video essay on it yeah we'll want to make it. a video essay yeah that'd be cool oh yeah please hell yeah 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 all right cool you've all hopefully pulled it up if you can and if you haven't this is the last warning to do that get it pulled up on and oh i don't know if william said it, maybe they did if you are using a streaming se a service like the green music app or things like it make sure you don't have shuffle on and make sure yeah. you don't have crossfade on because influences. Yeah, crossfade. that'll get all fucky or uh I guess thank you all right one song <laughs> okay everyone. listen i'm not above putting like a spongebob reference in the in the music I don't know if I ever did. Fuck Patrick Starr. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 How no. could you say that? He's basically my friend. No, I meant it like in the as a kindness. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you meant you meant like, some, you meant someone should fuck like, Patrick. Yeah, Starr. yeah, yeah. I was I was, well, it was an open it was an open call for for a connection to be made. You know. Yeah. To make sure crossfades. I'm pretty sure off. he's asexual though. So crossfades off. Yeah. Starfish. Oh, so starfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to put him in a box. <laughs> if he is, that's one thing. I won't we'll put him in a box, but I'll put him under a rock. I'll tell you that much. Hey, okay, let's get started. <laughs> all right, all right, Glass Beach, shut the fuck up. Fine. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Make me. Okay, everyone. 
Get your buttons ready. Get your plate. I'm about to do the countdown. Hover Get your buttons button. ready. Put, Get... Press the button when it's time. Not yet, though. We will be going straight through the album. There will be no stopping. So how if, do you know about you get... Doug? <laughs> oh my! I mean, Douglas is. I'm really. Oh, I'm so glad I host this show alone most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. I love you all. <laughs> I'm just trying to acknowledge our beautiful chat messages. How is Jasper doing? He's being a little fucking shit. Aww. No, I, I love do him. the countdown, okay. everybody. All here right. we go. Here we go. Here. So uh, again, this is this. What <laughs> I'm about to say is not it, but a reminder. <laughs> it's three, two, one, go. That wasn't we, it. We hit play on go. All right, here we are. This is the real one. This is the real one. This, this one is Plastic Death by Glass Beach. Can I go to the bathroom really quick? The first song. I'm going to murder I'm you. <laughs> I'm, 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 you're going to die today. I, and okay, it'll be by ready. my hand. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> I, love, I, I, mean, I, I love Jasper. You know that makes it first degree, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? It's on tape, this, even. This video is going to end up in the litigation. Hey, All right, everybody. Let's do this. If what, I ever what, die, you're one more, one more, One more joke, and it's Lane's. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I am not. I'm fucking not. All right, all right. That was the last one. That was the last one. Doing the countdown now. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Elaine's still talking. <laughs> Elaine, shut up. <laughs> I mean, are, do we want to just do? Do we want to just be talking about this? Like. Uh, where where this bit came from? Yeah, yeah. I think I, a lot of people know already, but we're doing like a commentary track, huh? Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about Markiplier. Yeah. Um. Well, this was the first <laughs> demo for this song, mm -hmm. and it's it's Jonas playing the the piano here, and Lane just happened to be having a conversation with uh, William's brother Chris in the background here. That about Unis Honest and temporary art. Yeah. And we just thought that the incidental conversation there was very inter interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was never intended to be like a release. It was literally like, hey, I wrote this piano part, and Jay, I feel like you might be able to develop it better than I could. Do you want to try? Yeah. And then we, you know, we went with it. Yeah, and Which is Jay what was this like, is. What, is, what are you talking about mm -hmm. back there? <laughs> and see here, it, there's, there's an extra left-hand arpeggio here. Mm -hmm. it's it's there's there's a little more it, it's yeah. it's a really strange part actually it's great though because it was like i mean it, it, it's kind of what i imagined uh when i like wrote the, the original thing that mm -hmm. it would be something like this but i i wouldn't know how to get there yeah uh, my left hand part was just like pulsing <laughs> but uh, it is in seven four mm -hmm. it is in a very slow triplet seven four, four. five six yeah. seven one, one. Two, three, or twenty-one four. eight. If you're yeah. weird, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, twenty-one eight. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed the part where I go boop, 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 boop. But that's my favorite part on the album is uh, on the synth bass when it first comes in, just for a tiny little bit, yeah. a little pokes in. It's not actually my favorite part, but I love it. You go at half mast is one of my favorite lyrics on this, actually. <laughs> Mine too. There's a there's a, a recurring theme of like these sort of this sort of like war imagery tying to personal relationships, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. War inside our heads. Yeah, war inside us. Or war inside us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Harley I remember said, doing Can you these... pause real quick? <laughs> I remember doing these these uh this claps. Oh yeah, the claps. They were really late. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. That was one of the last things we recorded. That's right. I just want everybody to know that <laughs> this guitar part. Originally, I was trying to do a chicken picking thing that was like a little bit different. Oh, yeah. But then I was like, "Damn, I can't chicken pick for shit." So I was like, I can't "That's, that's pick the for thing shit. that Professor Sky thought was banjo." Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah. So something else about this song, uh, this was uh, kind of conceived as following the same structure as as Part One from the first album, but just with a radically different tone <laughs> yeah it's it, it starting with this mellow piano intro building up into this full band groove having this sort of more low-key jazzy part and then like exploding into this big full band climax like it hits all the same beats this is also i haven't played oh yeah it's completely different yet. 
<laughs> um, I haven't played the the stringed bass on this song yet. I've been playing synth bass up to this point, which I oh, yeah. is a, a little fun fact that people might not pick up. The actual bass is about to enter, and here's the marimba played right. by uh, by by our friend Tommy. Tommy, thank you, Tommy. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Tommy and Chioko. Mm -hmm. Chioko. And this was this was everybody really thought it was a different song here. I mean, this basically is. It's yeah. radically different. This I is, think this is one of the prettiest parts on the album, though. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. This is also one of the most interesting because we were doing the whole thing where it's like Williams kind of doing just like groupings of two. Yeah. And then and it, like there's marching. there's seven groupings of three going on and I've got three groups of seven going on. Yeah. I mean, I was I was uh, I was obsessed with Steve Reich at the time and I, I love his idea of doing these. uh I don't know these 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 multiple oh. different rhythms that kind of recontextualize the same time signature. Someone just uh, I want to say oh, the who. thing about fifties sixties protest music. I mm -hmm. glanced at that. Oh, yeah. do you want me to pull it up? Just uh, well, I was gonna say Cat Fries was saying when we play this live, please extend the hits at the end by a full minute at least. <laughs> Would be funny. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And not really a funny. Bad idea. Yeah, Steve Reich and Philip Glass were huge. Uh, inspirations on this one <laughs> more so than like any rock band honestly although this was very inspired by black midi in the last section dang we have such an active chat doing the lyrics i wish we had it on screen for the vod <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i really uh i don't know i love that part i <laughs> <laughs> <Goodbye>, gave fly <laughs> goodbye, yeah goodbye gay fly i saw oh yeah this is lane that. doing sweet picking here I'm like strumming some chords. Uh, we've got the horns and then drums and bass locked mm. in. Yeah, one of these arpeggios is absolutely fucked, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I start doing, doing the shit I do all over the first time. Like, boom, dip, boom, boom, this bam, bam, this bam, whole bam, song bam. is in 7 4 with yeah. triplets, by the way. Uh, yeah. Whoever, whoever just asked that. Yeah. If my middle name was the killer, that would be awesome. <laughs> Dax, were you, the were you doing saying your thing, by the way? Uh, I don't Dax think so. the killer. Like, we're, we're past it. Okay. Oh yeah, horns by Scott to Network. It's a very slow seven four three four five six mm -hmm. seven one. And it two, gro it yeah. grooves like eight with one cut off. I feel like yeah. I think I think Jonas, you had a different interpretation of the time signature too. Yeah. Oh. These chord hits are the black midi part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, someone complimented my drumming. Thank you. I missed it. I had my <laughs> eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Something something I I love about Black Midi is they have this tendency to just do some like Looney Tunes sounding shit, and I yeah. think I think the the cartooniness kind of cuts through all the, any like perceived pretension in their music. I don't know. I try to put that energy in, and just be silly. <laughs> yeah, and this is motions. Same motions, glass speech. Yeah, fucking song motions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the like drum intro thing was kind of odd for us. That's not something we really ever did before. It's so funny listening back to this because I've heard I've heard some of the lead guitar described as fusion like yeah. on this song, and I ne and I was not thinking about that whenever I wrote it, but now that I listen back to it, I'm like, actually, yeah, I, I hear that. <laughs> this this song to me is a Talking Heads song. Oh, like yeah. I was trying to do a David Byrne here, and then kind of like a Julian voice, Casablanca later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I, I hear that it, I mean, you you do you almost do Psycho Killer in the bridge at one point. Oh yeah, and I'm definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the most I think. No, this song I was is literally from, you know, way mouth for bass stuff on it. This song is literally my version of Psycho Killer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it's 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 heavily inspired by American Psycho. I said before, like. <laughs> Wait, someone said I hear the microphone. Oh, oh, the band, the microphones in the song a little bit. I oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this album is super microphones. Mm. We love them. Yeah, new wave vocals. 
what level of moshing is okay at the show is uh, be safe and don't hurt each other yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as you fun, but... as long as you establish the pit boundaries and you don't mm-hmm. if you crowd kill i'm gonna call you out but yeah, yeah just don't do that <laughs> yeah. shit yeah that's just all... don't fuck with people who don't want to mosh like that's kind of where i draw the line exactly you know? but if you're in the mosh pit you know have fun <laughs> do what you want mm-hmm. yeah keep your mask on <laughs> before anyone rolls their eyes i grew up on fucking hardcore shut up <laughs> <laughs> crowd killing sucks <laughs> yeah yep I'm with you swamp child <laughs> yeah actually you know the big influence on the vocals here was fucking uh what is that band called uh interpol <laughs> oh, just has this really yeah. just like super mm-hmm. nasal kind of affect yeah you know i just remembered like, i i actually have permanent ligament damage from someone crowd killing yep damn yeah and my ankle this was jay's demo vocal take. oh yeah strokes also strokes and so interpol cool. oh yeah, yeah. I, I hear the strokes. I think it's cul de sac that I always felt strokesy yeah. in how we like arranged a lot of those parts. Like this the, part. Well, well, originally this part wasn't even like like super like heavy like it is. It was like it was like in fact it was like a little bit slower. I remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, and this was, was this was super just like yeah. straight like clean guitar post punk. Yeah. And slightly yeah. surfy when you like added this bass line. It was so. It's one of the funnest bass parts to play. There's being two very bases hard. here. It, There's two bases here. There oh, is really? a synth bass on one oh, yeah. side and distorted like bass guitar on the yeah. other side. They're they're hard pans. I'm certain. The, like, it makes sliding, it really thick. The sliding bass part that just like slides, but it slides and then does the two note interval is just like it's. Oh, not, here's the. It's really fun. There's a lot of parts in this album where I've seen that I that I like I do just octave want, stuff. This that's where protect parts. me from what I want is. People ask me this every day. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay and that's from Ginny holzer mm-hmm. who i adore <laughs> that ending yeah, is impossible oh yeah the, <laughs> that it's supposed to be like a like a, a a record skipping or something like every time the riff repeats a a, a little bit of it is cut off like mm-hmm. i i think it's a beat and then it's like an eighth note or something. i don't know yeah. it's just cuts shorter and shorter and shorter so it's like a machine stalling you know we are now on track three slip, slip under, under the, the door, door. yeah <laughs> <laughs> the fag it up <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully that... time to fig it up yep <laughs> <laughs> ba, 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 ba. i love when the slip is under the door yeah this is my blood brother's electric piano and don't hurt your head rio Do you remember when I did this, Jay? Yeah, I do. Was this the first song that I started using the seven string on? It was either this or 200, and I can't remember. We were working on them both around the same time, because these... This one, 200, and CIA, I think, were the first songs we started working <laughs> on back in the day. You said this was one of the first we worked on. Yeah, it it was very so. it was pretty distant from this version, but we had like you had the riff and we were like jamming on it. Uh, yeah. Reminds I, you of David Bowie Low. I mean, like I love that album. I yeah, it's funny. It's uh yeah uh, yeah LB. I've heard that too. We've we've talked about that. The 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 melodic similarities to somebody that I used to know. I think it's <laughs> in the riff and bassline. Oh bit, yeah, but... yeah, yeah. I remember so, yeah. bringing that up a few yeah. times. Yes. To the gay goblin voice. Uh, hold Not on. intentional, but we know. <laughs> <laughs> I would need to warm up more I to love, do it better. I love you doing that over like the prettiest part of the song. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a little tease for the next album. We, next don't album, repeat I wanna, that. Like, I don't want to test. I don't want to test what we can get away with on stream. But that's oh, all. I, I oh. like that comment. Don't Wh- repeat which it. Which one? Like hobgoblins. Yes. Just wait till. Hobgoblin. It's there again. What does it mean? Low the band. Oh no, low the low the David Bowie album, but also oh, low yeah, the band is very good. Um, they're I, I mean I guess it's their last album because one of them passed away sadly. Mm-hmm. But Aww. the the hey what is like one of the most unique things I'd heard in years. <laughs> it's great. Uh, can you allow? Uh, does someone allow it? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we have Thank a couple. You, cool. Thank you, Yolk. Yeah. This this section of the song I think is my favorite like mix. It's like really sparse and every single thing in it is so interesting so much detail 
Ugh. Thank you for the sub. Uh, yes, we will be performing some songs from the first album on this tour. That is the plan. Yeah. Yeah, but it'll mostly be second album. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the drips and drops are uh, Lane's guitar. Yeah, yeah, Lane's lead on this is, is special effects, and it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's also it's also this the the dripping sounds in this part too, which was just me fucking around with seeing what noise I could make with this patch. Ooh, a Splatoon vibes from the wet echoes. There you go. Oh yeah. yeah. I I get Splatoon vibes from the part where Jay goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another very gorgeous part of this song that we are just like goblin this noises. Is what the next over. album's gonna sound like? I love it's really yes. pretty with goblin noises on. Top. I love. I, hey, if you if you don't want to hear us talk over it, then just listen to the album. Yeah, yeah, that went out like a week. How do I come up with the goblin voice? I mean, it's 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 Blood Brothers. Uh, I forget. I forget the singer. Uh, there's two singers in Blood Brothers, and I remember reading some review where somebody it. said they sound like. Uh, like a rabid dog and a child being tortured, mm. and the one who sounds like a child being tortured. Somebody in chat probably knows that guy's name. I forget. Reminds you of swans. Ooh, I love swans. I just always. Oh, uh, I think Johnny Whitney is the one. Yeah. What does side order coming February twenty second mean? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, it'll be. I was about to be like, hey. <laughs> I just always like screams more when it sounds like the person is like powerless rather than like tough. <laughs> oh, it's a platoon thing. Um, also, we got a question. Uh, oh, we, yeah. we will release the instrumentals for sure. Probably demos, right? Are we planning to release er, demo versions for this one, Jay? Yeah. What does for real mean? Um, look up the band Manic Street Preachers. <laughs> that was the inspiration for this song. <laughs> we did not invent it, but thank you, Rio. <laughs> we just perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> now, just, 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 just look up the story of uh, of uh, of the Holy Bible by Manic Street Preachers. That was a big inspiration for this uh, song. Yeah, just look up the Holy Bible. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Jesus, Harley OMG. I don't know if we're gonna put out two hundred demos, but we'll put out a lot. <laughs> Maddie, I'm just gonna say, Brandon from Home is where has some of the most like i don't know how she does it <laughs> uh best transition on the album yeah very, very it actually intense. it actually like always surprises me which is great yeah. i do i straight up did not like this song on the album unless it was after <laughs> slip under the door it just sounded yeah. insincere yeah and this uh, is a guitar song. Guitar song. Good question like, here. Oh, sorry, Jay, go ahead. One, I mean, one oh. one album that was really influential was uh, was In Utero by Nirvana. Mm-hmm. And I always felt like uh, All Apologies hit way harder coming right after Tourette's. That was kind of the inspiration here. <laughs> and the, this this melody, we've said it other places, mm-hmm. but this is, a, this is one of the oldest melodies that has been adjusted by jay over the time of like making writing and recording this song. oh yeah the chorus comes from yoshi's island yeah, yeah. it was originally uh this is also so the, the like the guitar part and pretty much my bass part um was something that jay william and i just like jammed out randomly in my room once like i don't even think we were trying to do any glass beach thing it was just like there were guitars there and we're musicians so we do that sometimes and it's just like it kind of half this song or like 30 percent of it kind of fell out there and then it was like, um, like this is a thing austin are you saying that you had never Tourette's? heard Nevermind no, tor- by tor- by uh nirvana before tourette's or? like like tourette's syndrome the nirvana song mm. which is the second to last track on in utero um there are some reversed vocals on this i i have a granular synth that i made in max and i'm processing my vocals on this and you can hear that on the left channel sometimes what does this mean? I think the killer to the CIA is the best transition because I got semi internet famous because of it. The... Oh, the reaction. Oh, yeah. It's like, does it, does it fade to the next song? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's my you. God, it does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was great. I, I, I do love that to... video. <laughs> I, you should um, listen to Nirvana because they're actually a good band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they are. They I would are say, fantastic. I would say Nevermind is uh, not overrated, it is rated. Yeah. In Utero might be underrated. I if think, if a Nirvana album can be underrated, that one is. I think In Utero is is mainstream underrated. I think yes. Bleach is underrated. Period. Yeah, uh, Bleach a, is great. We have a question. Uh, I wanted to read from Violet Moon. Did you guys expect Alan to get named by the community, or did you have another name you intended? Um, it was never something that I really thought 
about in terms of like a, a a name for the individual creature it was just kind of like it's here's the anna abyss angel, angel yeah, or the or abyss it. angel yeah but i i i knew that people were gonna see it as part of the arg and I, it's pretty cool that yeah. y'all love it so much thank you <laughs> i just had this image oh i can answer why it's oh, called yeah, rare animal this is rare animal by the way Oh, Making actually, this yes. aging Seattle grunge guy very happy. I'm, Hell yeah. I'm glad. I <laughs> it's it's kind of funny to say because uh, I mean my 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 sister is older and like grew up. Uh, it was like a teen in the '90s, so grew up with grunge and introduced me to. I mean, I listened to In Utero when I was like four, which is really funny. Um, but I, I I a couple of years ago I had a moment where I like revisited grunge and I was like, oh yeah, this is actually good. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh uh. Why it's called rare animal. animal, yeah. Yeah, the original title for this song was uh, I drew four walls around your memory and kept it as a rare animal. And then I just shortened that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's just kind of... Uh, ah, I, I don't need to explain what that means. <laughs> it's, it's simple poetry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Midwest yeah. emo coded title. Yeah. Animal. Uh, the quintuplets at the end make my bones tingle. How did you come up with them? Oh, um, I had a I had a different. Uh, so I had a version of that riff that was in four four, and then at some point I was just. I mean, well, it is in four. You know what I mean. I had a version that was like eighth notes or something, and I was like, oh, there's five notes in this arpeggio. I could make it a quintuplet, and I like program that. Uh, like with MIDI and I heard it and I was like, that is incredible. Mm. It just like throws you mm. off in such an interesting way. Yeah. I like how, I really like how this song kind of like takes its time. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, this one's super fun to play live too. The, uh, we're not there yet, but the, the, the big this thinking part, about you part. And this, this part is yeah. so good. Oh yeah. Mm, space. Yeah. And also your vocal here is so good, Jay. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, the quintuplets are so satisfying and crunchy to the brain. This song alone made me learn how to time them. Hell yeah. Thank you. Fuck you. I don't know. Did you leave a... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> that, uh, that <laughs> I'm gonna, That's I'm your gonna, kills live. It's I'm so going to say something fucking weird. That like measure of silence is a, is a uh, Fugazi reference. Oh, waiting room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Someone was asking about the slow TV thing. The what? Uh, for Alan's reveal, the RX SS TV thing was so niche. Were you expecting someone to just know what the audio was, or was there a clue for it? I don't remember. Oh, if the you slow left scan clue TV. For it or not. I think somebody just figured that out. I don't know. I mean, I I don't think I had any clue. It I it was in the Portal Two ARG. That's where that's I got right. the idea, yeah. and I think that's how people knew it. Also, this part right here is oh, actually yeah. one of my favorite oh, simple bass lines that I play on the album because it's just I'm just going from open on the E string and second fret like oh, yeah. da, 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 and then same thing at a full step up, and I feel like I'm driving a car engine. It's like, got, really fun. Yeah, <laughs> like, I gotta say also <laughs> tectonic as all you do is another favorite lyric of mine. That was a, that <laughs> that line. Jay, oh, give us lore. That, that might be one of my favorite lyrics on this album, Jay. Is that yes? That tectonic is all you do. Thinking about you is one take. Uh, I mean, also on "Slip Under the Door" when I go from the screams to the clean, it's it's one take. Like, I don't know, like falsetto vocals and like that type of screaming are actually extremely close in in my voice. I don't know. I mean, that's that that's kind. Of, it's kind of the same area of the voice, uh, just like but, accessing a different like tone almost. Yeah. Okay, but somebody wanted lore, but I mean, tectonic is like tectonic plates move slowly, but also make enormous changes, and that's kind of, I mean, I don't know, it's it's kind of describing this this character who's who's like a, a, an absentee or whatever, you know. Jay, I really want to <laughs> figure out how I can how I really want to figure out. <laughs> I really want to figure out that swell for live. Okay. For the guitars, because because I loved doing that in the recording and. Oh yeah, Greek chorus saying "Don't get lost in a metaphor." Av Terra of Animal Collective is one of my favorite singers, so I take that as a huge compliment. Hell yeah! <laughs> I was actually just listening to a bunch of Animal Collective yesterday, and yeah, especially that song, especially uh, some songs with Av Terra screams on them. So that good. that guy is is incredible. <laughs> Mm 
Before we get too far away from it, I just wanted to say that the, a lot of the, the bridge portion of our animal from the drums was inspired by Latin jazz. That's all. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Best, oh, yeah. Okay, my personal favorite Animal Collective album is Strawberry Jam, but I have an enormous fondness for a Spirit They've Gone, Spirit They've Left. Mm -hmm. Or whatever the... F spirit They're Gone, they've Spirit vanished? They've Left. They, they vanished? I think. Oh, I always bad. I always fuck up the title of that one, but that, <laughs> that one, their first album. Yeah, both and of those this is cold a sack. Fuck. Strawberry Jam is my favorite, though. Jay, did you have any specific vocal references for this song? I think this is a unique mm, vocal performance thing. on the album for you. Um, yeah. What was I thinking? <laughs> what, what were you thinking when you sang like this? It sounds awesome. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> you must have been on drugs when James you sang Rolf. this song. Uh, the solo oh, on James this Rolf, is a guitar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Lane. And, yeah. it was, and it was the demo version of the solo. Yeah. Uh -huh. This I, I tried so, doing I mean, several takes, and the, the demo take was just I had, way more I, ripping. I had takes of the vocals that were very clean, very upfront, uh, and it just it just didn't sound right to me until it was like barely there. I don't know. <laughs> What's y'all's opinions girl? on better than the Beatles? TV girl. <laughs> oh right. yeah. Okay. I I've said this before, but TV. It's not. I didn't know that there was a band called TV Girl. Uh, it's not a reference to the band. It's a reference to Laura Palmer from mm -hmm. Twin Peaks. Uh, yeah. Because because I mean, oh yeah, this song is a spiritual successor to Bedroom Community like. Mm. They both I Yeah. Mean, yeah. God, oh. I <laughs> there's a million things for me to talk about here. Yeah. We'll do another one with just you. I you know, I feel like I feel like the one thing that's going to date this album is the reference to cryptocurrency. Mm. Because I, I I was really thinking about like the new age movement and how how there was so much technology like technologic optimism like oh the internet will bring us together it will connect us and then and then growing up to uh i don't know just just basically sell out that dream to try to get rich mm -hmm. off of these these financial scams you know i do think jay that that the that the song will have a lot of longevity in the sense that like I mean, if I mean, there's you, if, nothing if you, wrong with well, something being of its time. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, like in the terms of like the message being about the nostalgia trap, essentially, and how that, oh, yeah. that's led to so many problems of all generations. I mean, that's it's really like, the. Uh, this is a song against nostalgia. That's the. That's exactly, the message. That, that's, that's what I mean. Is that, <laughs> is that you think about like issues like nationalism, even and whatnot, and it's like yeah. all, like so much of the propaganda and issues that it creates is like related to the nostalgia <laughs> that people have created and trapped themselves. All the new age knows. Here. Do, do, I mean, the do. thing about the thing about cutting hair is like is like uh, it makes me think of uh, of uh, Caroline No by the Beach Boys. Like, where did your long hair go? It's like I don't know. I mean, it's like a signifier of being like a hippie or whatever. Like, peace and love, man. You know, and you, cutting your long hair to to blend in a little more. You know. <laughs> Hi, VR anyway, chat. I talked a lot about a lyric that was like two minutes ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to give some space for this moment for lane oh yeah yeah that that is one of my top <laughs> like top favorite moments on the album um, i also i'm realizing listening now like well i mean we're hearing the solo but just the when that bridge comes in i come in on the basis like a little do 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 which i'm realizing is very reminiscent of how i come into coelacanth yeah and i'm realizing this is a little bass motif of like just just kind of poking my head in on that in soft <laughs> sections a thing i like to do on this album I gotta, I gotta point out some other lyrics I like on this a lot. Your autumn will pass, your moonlight will wane and wax. <laughs> Fa mm -hmm. My favorite uh, lyrics on the record. Yeah. I love oh. It. Oh, yeah. oh uh, the Nathan chords here are my favorite. Lyric. Also, this. These... <laughs> We're not gonna do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll point out another lyrical thing. Uh, fucking. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I know it's not going to last. gets cut off at the end. Mm -hmm. It doesn't last. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that we use Saturn to like give that, that, that like... The glitchiness yeah, there? Yeah, at the very end. Oh, yeah. There's so many goddamn effects on Cul-de-Sac. I mean, Cul-de-Sac is the most complex mix on the album. We got our fucking money's worth of fucking Fat Filter Saturn, I will say. Yes. We use that shit on everything. It, it'll... I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a mix breakdown or something of that one because that's got the most going on in the mix. Oh, yeah. Like I'd, I'd like to do that. There's there's cool. so much. 
And it's it's probably the most like okay computer that it gets, honestly, just with all the guitar layers. <laughs> like, this up this, this guitar volume. part is very funny because it was me <laughs> playing a guitar part, and then Jay was like, "What if you did that, but you cut off like the last like two notes?" I like a hundred gex. I like all of their music. And a so lot. it's it's just a very asymmetrical guitar part. Like <laughs> it just says that for no reason, while, like <laughs> falling out of the rhythm until the chorus. Uh, uh, the song that oh, yeah, keyboard you feel cat underwater rhythm. the most. I feel y'all. I know. I know it's the keyboard cat rhythm. It's it goes like. <laughs> who the fuck is feeding on the body of a whale? A hundred million tiny little creatures. That's who. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, Owo Dan. Uh, I also I I will I agree with the the person or people who are saying this is the Dallas of this album or like Dallas. Parallel. Yeah, it yeah. Feels the most oh, I mean it's it's got yeah it's got marimba arpeggios and uh, and like program break beats mm-hmm. and shit like it's it's yeah it's the same it's the same thing it's the same it's the same i mean i told i told people over and over again before this album came out that dallas was the song that most indicated the direction we were going in you know mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it kind of became not that yeah i i'd still i mean i i would say in like the the more uh dark kind of mood and the more abstract lyrics you know that's kind I of would what say i would say out of every at. song on the first album dallas is the direction that that is closely resembled yeah most close, closely. close yeah i mean on the first album dallas is like my favorite song lyrically i it was it, it, one of those songs that i it is always going to have a special place for me because it felt like a breakthrough you know <laughs> oh someone says lyrically this is a lot like bedroom community would you care to comment jay yeah i don't know <laughs> 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 I am seeing. I, I love this is the one where people are saying a lot of like this is what I picture when I hear this song or this is what this song makes me feel like this is a very evocative song I think for, for people like feels underwater uh... yeah I mean I think this this is one of the songs that sounds most like the album cover looks yeah oh yeah which makes sense you know, there's there is more breakbeat stuff that was cut from the album. We got to release that uh, that song that got cut at mm-hmm. some point because yeah, I I know a long a long time ago I said there was breakcore stuff on it and people got really excited about that and the most breakcore song got cut. This is not breakcore to me. This is this is like jungle. This is like uh, yeah, it's like it's like uh, what do you call it? Like like atmospheric drum and bass mm-hmm. something. Also, World that, also that cut song has a solo. That, yeah, <laughs> this sounds fucking. I awesome. I I am an asshole about the term breakcore. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all let a marching band play whale fall? We would encourage that. Yeah. 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 If, if there's yeah, a, that'd be awesome. If there's Let's a band that was that. straight up like, hey, when you're coming to this date, can we play this for you? That there are multiple awesome. cut songs, y'all. There's one that was cut right before we did the mix, and that's the one I'm talking about. But there were some that like just didn't get that far along. Yeah. That might turn into something else. Yeah. I don't know. Shout out mm. the Hedgehog Westopolis type beat. That's what we were going for. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I put it in the lyrics, but you can hear me shouting. I can feel it there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a there's a couple of things that have been inconsistently in the lyric sheets just because they're impossible to hear. <laughs> Puppy. I love this riff. Um Oh yeah. Okay. So something to listen to here. I'm on the right. My guitar is on the right. Lane's guitar is on the left. The interaction between those two parts is so cool on this. Yeah. Yeah, one, I'm on one, the right. Lane's on the left. Cool. One, one thing I right. one thing I insisted on with <laughs> with Jay was that I wanted my part to be one that the I was either thing. always playing significantly higher or significantly lower than Jay. <laughs> um, I will comment yeah. on the just the question about world. That is a Jay song that world. we did a version of. Oh yeah, was, that was never going to be a Glass Beach song. Yeah, this. Something with this, I, I I don't know. I I really like the album "Post" by Bjork. Yeah, and it, yeah. Or Bjork, and this Bjork. this song to me um, is like uh, it's so oh, so quiet. Oh, because it's this very poppy song that is actually th- very thematically tied into the more artsy yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> is that the one where it's like a 
cover it's like a show tune show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show that's tune. that is one of my favorite songs like and the song that got me into bjork i mean oh, that's yeah. probably not a rare experience but like it's and i had never uh, uh name drop of the cut song i mean why not eh. does it matter uh i had two names for it one that y'all know and one that y'all don't know because okay. we called it machine a lot mm-hmm. Um, but there's an, an alternate title that's Body Without Organs. Oh, oh. I like that more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's from Deleuze. Cat Fries, I recommend listening <laughs> This to goes out to all the continental board. philosophy fans in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> King Gizzard X Glass Beach oh. Collab. <laughs> I just saw uh, King Gizzard. Uh, on, I've been watching Tim Hyde. Deleuze podcast. reference. Deleuze is a huge influence on this album. Oh, yeah. I read a lot of shit that made me feel crazy, and I wrote an album about it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I love this part. This part's really fun to sing, too. Mm -hmm. Nobody's pointed out that that line is from the JJJJJ album. I want to let you know. Oh, yeah, it is. Hell, yeah. Damn, I don't remember playing that. <laughs> How many J's in the album name? I think 24 because I was 24 then. 25. Okay, it, it was my age. I know that. The screams. These screams are fun. It's. I remember uh, when I when I when I figured that part out. Um, I was very stoked on the fact that the highest note that I hit on that song is the same as the highest note in Dream On. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's exactly the same note it's an a flat like i don't know five i, I always forget octaves but you know yeah <laughs> this is the other yeah. song that i play synth bass yeah panic signs on the breakdown it's mm-hmm. the it's a breakdown in many ways mm-hmm. and then this is the killer wow. also i mean yeah these days i fear the love and everything like i don't know I don't get people saying that the lyrics aren't direct on this. It's very straightforward. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, this was this was evidently a song that we didn't finish until after I got my MIDI keyboard last year. Cause this was I was definitely writing a like stringed bass part for this for a while. Um but it, I think it was one of those like ideas. Where I was like, "What if I just played the robot bass on this?" And if because it, it's such an acoustic song, yeah. it just felt like very right. Hell Hail yeah. to the Thief is underrated. I have to say, it's my favorite. Actually, that's not even what you think. said in chat. But <laughs> um. anytime somebody mentions Hail to the Thief, I'm like, it's underrated. <laughs> 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 I just want to say that the song has well, it's my favorite song on the record, but also it has my favorite drum part. Like the whole the whole song, I'm very proud of this these drums. Oh yeah, yeah. The the song uh, the song "Go to Sleep" off of "Hail to the Thief." If if any if there's anything, it sounds like yeah. Um, and yes, thirteen four is the time signature of the verse. It's um, Amaretto falsetto. Yes, Wait, was it, was it thirteen or was it eleven? Bottom of the screen. It's thirteen. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it's five four, and then it's three four, and then it's five four again, and it oh, okay. loops that. Okay. Wait, don't say no. Yes, there is there is a timer at the bottom of the screen that shows our progress in the song. Oh yeah, kind of like they're there. Um, the tender flesh to carry home. I mean, it's 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 about the foxes and the 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 rabbits and all that. <laughs> Something that I really liked about uh, the the music posting podcast when they interpreted this song is 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 about saying that the we, I was calling the killer a fox because oh, I was yeah. talking about the actual fox from the perspective of the killer there, but kind of the idea is that the foxes are killers too, and then the killer kills a fox. There's there's it's killers all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and this is anybody remember Camille's last name? The no, uh, can someone in the audience check? Is Faulkner. it Faulkner? Faulkner. Faulkner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Faulkner. Yeah. This is this is like the only real story song on the album too. I don't know. It's kind of country yeah. in that way. The song <laughs> always feels like a story song to me, but, one, but like a fable. Yeah. Oh yeah. The bit about the birds. Yeah. I mean, that's the song within the song. Yeah. That is that. Is, oh. 
if I may say something about guitar song, the bird's song in the second verse, that is the guitar song being referred to in the title. <laughs> mm. Also, mm. Where, uh, when the strings were added to this, when we got the final strings and Jay uh, and Lane had already like done some mixing, they came into my room to show it to me. Just cause I, they were very proud of it and I wanted to hear it. And so I, I listened to it and like, I genuinely like started tearing up at this part and yeah. I turn and, and Jay just goes like, getting emotional, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like a, like really, it mm -hmm. was, it was very sincere from Jay, but I was just like, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, and, and you know what? I felt vulnerable in a good way in that moment. It was nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is going yeah. back a little bit, Jay. Someone it's... was asking if the end of Whalefall is AI generated at all. Yeah, it is. Cool. <laughs> it's jukebox. The end of Whalefall, you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. I know, um, I know that, that was something you were playing with early in the process for this. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was like 20. I mean, that was before anybody fucking knew about AI mm -hmm. that I made that. <laughs> um, The hell was I going to say about this? Uh. Oh yeah, I mean, I arranged the strings mm, yeah. oh, and the marimba and the horns. Day. It was very fun. Uh, this is the oldest bass line on the album. Oh yeah, there was a there was this a comment that people world. were going like, "What the fuck about a while back?" That I have to bring up. Uh, the 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 power is sex thing or whatever. Oh yeah, it's it's an Oscar Wilde quote. Everything in the world is about sex except sex, which is about power. Mm -hmm. That's what that was about. Those who were confused. And I said that in response to somebody asking what the CIA is about. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Willumi. Yeah, this is this song was super fun to work out the bass part for. You know, you know what the inspiration for this song was? What's that? Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, it was fun. It's a shame. It's a shame we didn't have the guards do the do the lean in the music video. <laughs> Yeah, what a shame. <laughs> the 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 intro to this song was like a direct uh nod to Smooth Criminal. <laughs> is that on the VOD, William? No. Okay, <laughs> we just got a computer sound. <laughs> song is literally 1984. Yeah, this song is uh basically I I was I was trying to write a song for a uh a Nightmare Worlds like just like a nightmare pop song. <laughs> That's what this is. It's so funny that this is this is often referred to as like the math rock song, and it's like it's four four. Yeah, yeah it's, there's it's no all, time. It's all four four. There are no time signature yeah. changes on this. It's all four we four. Just, we just really fuck around in those four. Yeah, like, yeah. We, we move around tempos and like and use uh, different note lengths to like. Hollow Dins off, does but... tie to the animal motif, yes, but it's also like a din, like a living room, like. <laughs> I mean, the inspiration for this song, like, lyrically was, like, all those memes about, like, oh, like, me putting on makeup for my NSA agent who watches me through my webcam yeah. or whatever. I was like, what if what if you just, like, had, like, a love song for the NSA agent who spies on you? <laughs> like... <laughs> Is that you? No. <laughs> not me. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I also was like. Hey, I mean, yeah, it can also be a, like somebody being possessive and, and controlling. That that's kind of that's kind of why I've welcomed so many different interpretations because I, I there's pretty much always like three different intentional meanings behind everything. You know, it's yeah. really it's really about drawing parallels between uh, different different types of relationships, both like interpersonal like familial friend romantic and then also like government and its subjects you know <laughs> <laughs> is there ever a canon meaning to your i mean i i have my own meanings that i put into things but i don't really see it as being about people trying to figure out what i was thinking you know there's no right answer, I guess. What's the comatose reference there, Jay? Where is the... Huh? The comatose reference there is great. It's one of the best parts of the song. I think it's just the... the uh, Like the vocal melody on the oh, bridge yeah. there. Ah. What do I think about Death of the Author? Um, I hope I never die. <laughs> 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 the artist, wait, wait, 
Here. Cut through the artery, suck the blood. That's where that is. <laughs> Y'all will hear it when we put out the stems. There's screaming here that's buried because I was obsessed with Jerome's dream. And I love, uh, I love how you can never hear the vocalist in Jerome's dream. <laughs> this does sound like doom, yes. Hell yeah. Oh, that's... Alarm sound is my guitar. All the weird sounds here are just my guitar solo. <laughs> that's the one fill on the record that Lane wrote. Drum fill? The, 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 the drum fill. Oh, yeah, this breakdown... Oh, uh, I heard that. Was inspired by Knocked Loose. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I fucking... Was... I was really fucking jamming that band for a while. This song is yeah. 200. 200. When will we release the stems? Um, as soon as they are existing. As soon as I have bounced them out. Yep. Which will take a while, but yep. We're working on it. Something I'm meaning to get to, but we've got a we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, 201. I will be very upset <laughs> if I don't have it out before tour. Stems are isolated tracks for all the separate instruments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are, are we just uh, we're just doing stems, right? Not multi tracks. Yeah. Okay. The most black midi, <laughs> non black midi song ever. Yeah, I mean this shit is uh is uh. Uh, like a lot of the jazzier moments, uh, very Charles Mingus inspired. <laughs> yeah, and I'm using brushes here at the beginning. Like if you know the Charles Mingus song Freedom, go look that up. <laughs> and switch to sticks now. Oh, yeah. I have the scale here. Okay, I will give you the real reason why this song is called 200. My first demo of the song was automatically titled New Recording 200 in my voice memos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I just kept the title 200 for it. That's why. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry to the person who said they woke up too early to see this. There will be a VOD on our YouTube channel. Later. I just thought it was significant for it to be... Uh, an, an even number like that. I also, I just love song titles that give you absolutely nothing to work with. <laughs> no WDG Luna, we did not realize that the birds and guitar song added up to 200 so I, until someone figured it out after the album came out. I, I, is, that, is that correct, Jay? God, I love the horns here. Yes, that is correct. Me too. I also love the horns. And also I did use brushes at the beginning of Classic Jay Dies. Nice. This is a huge deal when Jay and I broke this part of the song. Cause we it were... took us so long to figure this out, and we thought it wasn't going to work because it's so different. Yeah. But, but yeah, because you're kind of doing this tracio. Like. Oh, I get to play my favorite rhythm on this song. The, like, for years, that boom, da don da don da don da oh, yeah. That rhythm in any song oh, has always been my favorite. My favorite part. Glass Beach or otherwise. And I got to put it here. I was so happy when we added these lower guitars. Oh, yeah. The doomy guitars. And Jay just let me really go off on the drums on this part. I think I desperation is riot control is one of my favorite lines. Oh yeah, me album. too. Wait. If you go listen or, or go Wait. read the uh, huh? Sorry, J I didn't know that Jerry did horns on a Steven Universe movie. Someone yeah. just referenced that in reference <laughs> to these horns. Sorry. Oh. That's cool. I love this part also. Yeah, if you go if you go look up our uh, interview in our culture, I talk a lot about the meaning of this song. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not gonna repeat all of it right now, but <laughs> yeah, we also did an AMA that y'all can check out. Um, I fucking Aaron hate my Cuts. chemical romance. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
They're great. And this is Comatose. Comatose. Comma. Comatose. I don't hate my chemical romance. I feel like that's obvious. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite MCR song, uh, Demolition Lovers. <laughs> and if it wasn't obvious by now, I'm extremely inspired by Ringo Starr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this song, I think, like, oh, yeah, this shows was, that off. This, uh, this was the same person who played violin on uh, on the Boy Genius record, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Or at least some Julian Baker stuff. Oh, so Julian Baker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the harmony here is wild. <laughs> it's like almost a <laughs> hidden bass solo here, the way that I like approach it anyway. Oh, yeah, the bass here is great. <laughs> this, was, this, was, doing a bass solo on this was anyway. one of those sections that we jammed out and mm. it like when we jammed it it was kind of just like that's the part yeah almost. this is also like the, the hardest to... drum part on did the record did Tommy work on OKKO? Okay oh, I didn't know that Dax? Whoa. yes sorry oh, okay. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he just ignored me I was, uh, <laughs> I was reading chat <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, was, I actually um, got to that message at the same time <laughs> I I <laughs> That's funny. I I used to I used to live with uh, William from uh, Kara's Walk Home, the, the singer of that band, uh, and he he was a background painter on that show. And I used to drive him to Cartoon Network all the time. <laughs> I do want to just just clarify or, or correct. William was not the engineer for this album. That was Lane and Jay, but did the uh, mastering specifically. Yeah, William William just mastered it. Uh, yeah. Lane and I did the did the recording, engineering, and the mixing. Yeah. So we just we just sent the fi the completely mixed tracks to William to master. It was a great experience working with him. He was very cool and very kind. Yeah. And very uh, very very accommodating with any of our notes. So. And this chorus kicks ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorite bits. Oh. What is mastering? Mas uh, so Ma mastering <laughs> was originally the process of uh, making uh, putting the album on a like actual like vinyl record and whatnot and it's a process that has evolved over time to be a lot of different things but largely what mastering is for nowadays is making sure that your album song or ep is at both an appropriate volume across like the entire album or ep and is at a suitable level for like streaming and relative to other music on things so that when you're listening to something uh you don't go to another album and then it gets blasted in your ears and hold on i have to point like out that. and listen to the violin here That's my favorite thing I wrote on the violin. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a refused reference. <laughs> but largely nowadays, mastering can also be interpreted as like a second pass of like fine detail mixing on a macro level. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love that this feels like a very like that that period of like rock guitar in like the 70s where it was very Latin inspired. And like, I feel like. I, I, I we've talked about this like hearing that kind of influence in this finding that anyway but, oh yeah i mean that that part is extremely 60s to me yeah I, that's that's really kind of what i was thinking you know i probably mean 60s but anything before like 2019 is <laughs> all one year to me <laughs> but yeah that was a really fun yeah. moment to find too in in practice here's here's bit. here's my actual uh my actual refused reference it, it, look up the song Liberation Frequency by Refused and you'll realize like why I called it a cheap pastiche here. Yeah. This guitar tone was also my uh this was my this is originally me trying to make like a Mars Volta tone almost. <laughs> I am I am I am being dead serious. The lyric about even in death just a cheap pastiche is literally just referring to how this part is ripped from a refused song. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite AJJ lines is the line where he talks about how he had just ripped off Woody Guthrie in a different line. Oh yes, yeah. yes. I was thinking about that too. Yeah. That's cool. Oh thank you. Thank you, other silly boy. Whoa, it's <laughs> silly boy sixty seven. <laughs> I mean, Lane, you're moving on from Silly Boy, right? Or are you uh, probably? I'm yeah. probably changing. Oh yeah, my, key my change here. Very soon. Uh, right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. 
Oh, Harper Ulu. If you like Knife Man, check out their whole discography. They're one of the greatest bands of time. <laughs> yeah. I love AJJ. I feel like this is someone said if this is one song that really shows off Jay's vocal rage, this is the one. And I, I agree. It goes everywhere. I think this song for any one of us would be the like, hey, this is like the one where probably each of us shows off the most. Maybe I don't know, maybe Willie with the CIA solos. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. This yeah, yeah, I think this one shows off the drums I think I do the most in this one. Lane's very flashy in this one. Yeah. I I, I think I, that I think that if the average person listened to it, they might say the CIA is more flashy for you, William. But I think that if a drummer listened to the song, they'd be like, Oh wow. I think if a drummer listened to the album, they'd be like, oh, the killer, yes. On that loud, <laughs> on that last loud section, I highly recommend listening to the bass and the drums. Like, mm. because they are perfectly locked in and it goes all over the place. <laughs> God, is this song over yet? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's awesome. You know I love this song. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my god yeah i i literally had somebody telling me over and over again go back and chop off the last four minutes of this song really it, yeah like this is not fucking mcdonald's you don't send it back <laughs> it is what it is like, <laughs> also even if it was fuck you i'm burning the mcdonald's down yeah. <laughs> fuck you next album's gonna be all 15 minute songs <laughs> yeah that guy was on anthony fantano's comments too it's yeah <laughs> Uh, Ginger Men, the new AJJ record is my favorite in a long time, and I have liked all their albums for a while, but this is definitely my favorite for a good few years. I think it's great. <laughs> this sounds like an automaton, but isn't it something it's else? It's a Vocaloid, it's a... isn't it? Or oh yeah, 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 Vocaloid. Or it's not Vocaloid. Uh, it's it's it's, it's... Miku. No, no, it's, I'm it's, it's, I'm it's the knockoff Vocaloid. Yes, yeah. it's it's called Alter Ego. Yeah. Uh, if you've ever listened to Garden of Delete by 10 Tricks Point Never, um, it's the Vocaloid that's used on that. And the thing with uh, Orchids is like there was a playlist version with the silence removed. They didn't remove any of the like. Yeah, we didn't cut any of the song. We yeah. just took the silence out of it yeah. so that people could put it in playlists because they were like, please. It makes sense. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, oh. we we don't we don't need to talk uh, we don't need to talk about Fantano too much here, but I yeah. there's a lot of stuff you said that I'm just kind of baffled by, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get <laughs> Anthony Fantano fans when there's no subway service in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I I I've, I said no. this, I said this before. It's like I I just. Anthony yeah. Fantano I, I stuck was... his neck out, which is exactly what we did. So respect for that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, <laughs> this thing. I, re I respect Fantano and whatnot. Um, and when part of the song is really cool. Yes. Yeah. Key yeah. change and very uh, to make it very clear. It, it it is okay to not completely engage with music on a certain level and whatnot. And yeah, I don't think that there was engagement on the level that we necessarily hoped for. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Different people have different opinions and yes. that's fine. Yeah. I like Black Country New Road, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he is bald, LB. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, they everyone. They said it. They yeah. said it. There's nothing wrong with that either. They're just saying it. Yeah. I think I think it's great. I think six like, is awesome. the best score that Fantano will give an album that he doesn't fuck with. So I don't I, I don't think it's that bad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he just it's just not for him. Yeah. I think it, yeah. overall positive yeah. and I and I want to talk about commentary. Yeah, let's right? talk about something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. That that last that last bit was uh was very inspired by Deaf Heaven, by the way. Just like 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 uh black gaze, like Yeah. <laughs> Godspeed you Black Emperor too. Godspeed you Black Emperor was a big influence here too, yeah. Especially this like noise part here. And then I was like let me fucking just messily shred over this last part. Like six blunts. And then I think I think I did like one or two takes and then like and then you're like, that's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna make a death I mean, I Death Grips is a huge influence on me in general. Like I don't make stuff that sounds like that, but <laughs> Oh yeah, I love the way this end cuts off. MC Ride, underrated as a lyricist. I'll say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a poet. Yeah. <laughs> and Abyss Angel. Yes, the Abyss Angel is what's pictured on the album cover. That, that last bit, okay. A lot dances. of a lot of people ask me if that last bit was a uh, uh, a Vocaloid, and uh, it's my voice. It's it's uh, 
I, I, I program some effects in Max MSP, and that's what you're hearing there, my voice being processed by Max. This was a song that took a long time to like get to a point that Jay was confident it would be on the album. And I remember when they said, yeah. like, yeah, I think I figured it out. And it was like basically this. We just this was not a song it. that I was ever going to release, you know? Mm -hmm. But I mean, I mean, I don't know. Some, yeah, this is very in rainbows. Uh, I really, I really like uh, videotape as a closer and just how uncomfortable that is, you know. I like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the stuff that you're least confident in, in is the stuff that like you is is the best actually, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it, it's just. Uh, I don't know, like, like it's easy to be confident in a safe choice, I guess, you know? Yeah. So I try to go harder with the stuff that I'm unsure about, you know? I mean, I, I personally, I love this song. I think it's a perfect closer. It It's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, if, so you hear the, if you hear these sort of ethereal, like, chord swelling, that's also max. What is the little white pill? Someone's asking. Uh, it can be a lot of things. I mean, I kind of pictured it as some kind of uh, psychiatric medication, but mm -hmm. people have said that it might be like uh, HRT or something. Like, yeah. I like to I, think it's acetaminophen. <laughs> I, I always took it as like just like pain meds for a pet that they're not eating or an animal. Like, a, I, I took it somewhat literally, I think. But yeah, like when I try to give Markle her meds and she won't take it. Like, yeah, it's 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 just kind of that idea of like uh, rejecting things that are probably like what's best for you you mm -hmm. know yeah this is the part where i start flying in my brain i definitely remember a lot of people yes. expecting that this song would be like a huge loud climax you know mm -hmm. uh youtubers i like uh big joel jacob jeller I've been, uh, I've been like todd in, in the shadows i've been like in Mike studs the in snare. studio lately yeah. Sharing that with the band Studson. In praise of shadows, I love. Yeah. Um, Super Eye Patch Wolf. Some CJ the X recently. What did you say? CJ the X. Oh yeah, yeah CJ, CJ the, the X, X. I fucking love. Absolutely. Patricia oh. Taxon on a similar. No, yeah. Noah no. Caldwell Gervais. I love his videos. Mm. And Mike the Snare is one of my favorite like YouTube music critics. Todd the Todd in the Shadows also, but I think he's more a culture critic than a music critic. I really Sean love this guitar Mark solo Brown. Yes. Here. Lane here. Mm -hmm. Also, my my rhythm guitar here is the weirdest fucking tuning. <laughs> I mean, if you saw my document, you saw my, my tuning document that I posted. Oh, a tuning document. I like Lily Alexandra. Alexandra? Alexandre? And another point where Jay just kind of let me do what I wanted. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, I thought about I I've been thinking about doing another Casio Dad album, but it kind of hasn't gone anywhere. So, um, I watched Nostalgia Critic back in the day. It does not hold up. Angry Video Game Nerd holds up way, 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 way better. Um, but uh, Folding Ideas review of Nostalgia Critic's review of the Wall is one of my favorite pieces of media criticism ever. Bullying ideas is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I like Professor Sky. Really liked the the analysis yeah. that he did. Okay. Oh, we, we didn't I don't I don't think I, I wanna stop talking about yeah, I was YouTubers. Gonna say, do you have anything you want to say about this song? <laughs> yes. This so this uh, I was talking to Animal Collective earlier. This bit was mm -hmm. heavily inspired by uh, by Spirit They're They're Gone. Um and what you're hearing here is like Marimba vocals and like 20 different takes of piano that have all been processed by max um like like i built this uh this granular synth and i just threw in a bunch of samples and uh, there's so many layers to this also i am a human body is my other favorite lyric mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's kind of the like thesis of the album like the whole album is about the body you know uh, Tommy does play the marimba, but but Tommy did not play marimba on the song. Um, in addition to the stuff we got on Coelacanth and Whalefall, uh, I, I had him just play some stray notes, and then I resampled those. Mm. <coughs> um, oh, yeah, there was a laugh track on the right mm -hmm. a second ago. <laughs> but, yeah, all these sounds... I mean, yeah, I don't even remember how I did some of this shit. This, this is... This is my favorite bit of the whole album, honestly. Just the last like minute of this song. 
<laughs> yeah. Why does everyone want to? It scratches at like. Know how we are at Smash. It, Fuck it, melee. It, it scratches at Jesus Christ. I'm tired of it. For me, <laughs> like this. <laughs> it is a really like sweet moment. I I I think we even talked about it after you showed it to us, Jay. That I like, yeah. or I really appreciated that the album kind of just like ends with coming down to you sort of deconstructing music and like slapping it all together and oh yeah i mean i i, I always t okay well you know the album's over so we can talk as long as we want now yeah. um i i oh my god <laughs> turn it off jump scare Crap. <laughs> get this boomer shit out of here only out of the minute of silence to this one too <laughs> um what, what was i saying uh uh <laughs> cold weather jump scare what's what's it, that's what the hell was I saying? I don't know. You, oh, you oh, 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 oh. I love, I love, um, I love songs that, that, uh, destroy themselves at the end. Mm -hmm. And, uh, a lot of the songs on Plastic Death do that. Like, like, Comatose destroys itself in a very, uh, violent way. And I like how in Abyss Angel it kind of comes apart into something beautiful, you know? But it, it's, 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 I, like, like, I think of, uh, I think of music as inherently abstract art. Like, I don't think representational music exists, you know? Like, you can have songs that describe things, but, like, the notes themselves are non-representational, you know? It's it's it's, it's just pure uh, emotion. And, and so I really uh, I really feel like that's a part where it just kind of embraces the, uh, the, the, the abstract nature of music, you know? The last note is definitely like a soul. Yeah, it's the, it's like the abyss angel in the in the in the dark. I always imagine. I just... I fucking love Autechre. Also, every yeah. single album I've heard by them is absolutely beautiful, and I still have so much that I need to get to. But I I love them. <laughs> what are you saying, Dex? Oh, I just um, the the last like thirty seconds or so there of abyss angel. I just imagine like a beautiful disintegration. I don't know. It's it's. Fantastic. <laughs> Wait, was it intentional to make the first note of, of TFGBA the same as the last note of Plastic Death? Which first note? Because oh, it's it's a it's a it's a, a D sharp or an E flat. I mean, it's an E flat in part one, and it's a D sharp at the end. Um, no, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> it's a. Uh... That's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's make a discography it, where you can listen to it in reverse order. But is it is it the note that like is sung? Because I I slide into the first note right at the start of that song, right? Or do yeah, I, so, yeah, I, I it's the note lower. it's the note you land on. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's it's a E flat. Um, uh, that note. But I like I like uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I I a lot of a lot of people a, a lot a lot of people have have brought up OK Computer when talking about this album, which, like, obviously it's deeply derivative of Radiohead. Like, no mm -hmm. fucking qu Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good observation skills. Um, but I think probably the most overt inspiration is is I always loved how that album just ends with the ding of the... It's either a glockenspiel or a triangle, um, which I always love because it sounds like it sounds like uh, your microwave is done or something, you know. It's it's the sound of an appliance or something, and and this this more for me was like uh, it's like it's like an alarm waking you up or something, you know. It's like the end of a dream, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or like an elevator chime. It's 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 kind of this uh, this talk about the ARG. Uh, what about it? <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably good. I mean, yeah, they, yeah. I mean, they, if if ever you felt like going through the ARG at all, that could be its own like separate. I had kind of thought about doing a retrospective on it, just kind of like, oh, here's the stuff that we planned. Here's the here's the shit that uh, you, you know people <laughs> thought was intentional that wasn't. You know, the phones did not cost me that much. It's fine. Yeah. I, I I I had a little bit of disposable income for it. Like it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came at the right time. <laughs> Next time we do an ARG, we're going to use advertising budget, though. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It'll yep. be cool. I feel like the tourist is an alternate perspective of airbag. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what was the 1-9 date supposed to be for? We were so confused. 
I, uh, it was one five, and it was the original release date. Yeah, it got delayed after we put yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. I mean, we I I wanted it out last October. October. Yeah. yeah. We we were talking about having it out in October. Y'all did not miss anything significant in the ARG. Uh, I think every single thing that I made was found by somebody. What are the plans for the taper? Um, yeah, so Taper Realm was a it was a short film that I made originally that I kind of cannibalized for the ARG. Um, and and to be clear, the short film is not like the CGI movie that's alluded to there. It's kind of it. I, 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 I was kind of doing like a house of leaves thing or something where it's like a, a million different uh, reflections on this thing that you never see. You know, it's, 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 uh, it, it was like, Oh, here's the behind the scenes of taper realm. Here's like the director commentary. Here's like people talking about the 3d modeling and shit. You know? <laughs> Thank you. I, I made the taper model. Jay animated it and rigged it. Yeah. A lot of the 3D stuff uh, was was me, but Dax did a lot of the modeling. Um, I made the Abyss Angel model for that uh, like fake Abyss Angel footage that we did. Uh, I learned uh, Blender like a couple years ago and threw some stuff in there. What do you think about the more noise stuff like Ark and Holland, Holland again? That yeah, was good. I don't know. <laughs> I think my favorite animal collective stuff is the stuff that borders, but like it's on the border of noise and pop, you know, I think the poppiest thing I like by them is Meriwether post pavilion, but I think everybody likes that one. <laughs> um, the usage of the concept of family nexus. I mean, that comes from RD Lang, uh, who was a, uh, a psychologist who, uh, was, was particularly interested in the cause of schizophrenia. Um, and he had this theory that, uh, everybody uh in the in the in the groups of people they surround themselves or whatever there's there's short sort of a uh, constructed version of history and reality that they all agree on and that's called the uh, the family nexus and and the idea was that uh whenever somebody's reality doesn't align with that like that can cause a schizophrenic break and i don't know about the scientific uh accuracy of a lot of that uh uh, the the sort of anti uh, anti psychiatry stuff can get kind of out there, <laughs> you know. Um, but I was very intrigued by uh, by the concept of of a of reality being something that's socially constructed and and that is like it enforced rather than being something that you just see and it's true, you know, something that's kind of imposed on people. Um, the red book. <laughs> <laughs> The red wait the red book did not inspire the first album cover. I discovered it after the first album, but um, Carl Jung was a huge influence uh, for me on the album. Sort of my main concept was uh, I, like 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 Carl Jung's it had this idea that to uh, to become uh, uh, oh yeah consensus reality is a good term for what they talking about yeah um, the uh, what the fuck was I talking about okay yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, so, so, so a lot of the stuff that Carl Jung did was kind of riffing off of Freud. And I think he's a lot better than Freud. I think his theories uh, hold a lot more water. Um, but he had the idea of people having a sort of split consciousness where there's, uh, there's the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. And in the unconscious mind, there's, there's the, there's the shadow, uh, which, which is sort of all our dark, uh, repressed thoughts or whatever, you know, it's like if, if, it, it, it can be stuff like uh like like he believed every man had a repressed feminine side for example and vice versa um but at the same time like people also repress things like violent urges or whatever um and and he believed that people needed to welcome that side in to the conscious mind to be able to become a more full person basically and that means dealing with the stuff that is probably good but is repressed but also the stuff that is like definitely bad you know and, and, and I was really, uh, oh yeah, the anima and the animus. Um, I, I was just really into the concept of just like, I just want to like explore the shadow or whatever. And, and, and in a lot of songs, it's kind of, it's kind of going into these very, uh, these, 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 these very dark, these very selfish kind of feelings and stuff like, like, like motions is like a really, uh, hostile kind of song, you know, it's very, very self-important and all that, you know, um, but yeah, I, 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 I that, that that's also kind of where the whole abyss thing comes from is this sort of representation of the unconscious mind, you know, going deeper into the darkness or whatever and finding something beautiful in it, you know. Um, 
and the 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 red book was was Carl Jung's sort of like uh it, it's like an esoteric text that he made basically like it's an ex- exploration of his own mind and his own spirituality and stuff that's very 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 out there i don't know uh <laughs> carl, carl Jung would approve of fem boys like he he believed that he he believed that all men need to embrace their feminine side you know and all women need to embrace their masculine side like i think i think he was onto something you know <laughs> um what, what did somebody say about the fucking Wayne Radio TV. Uh, oh, the gnome just... being rude for saying something about the animus. Alex was a kind person. By being rude to the gnome, you are disconnecting from the animus. <laughs> I, just have to remember when that was I think that's what it was about, yeah. What the gnome thing was about, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Carl Jung does have some theories that are pretty pretty out there but it, the thing is the thing is you can read things that people wrote and you can just take the parts you like like nobody's stopping you <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing this asked a few times we are planning to release uh, stems and stuff and I'm sure we would like to make tabs but that like that, that became an overly ambitious project for the first album so I think we're a little yeah. bit uh, hesitant to try it but uh, you know all the, power oh, the sheet anyone music. Out sheet music. Anyone who who feels compelled to make tabs or sheet music, we will happily uh, check them. For yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Lane, oh, Lane and yeah. I have also been talking about um wanting to do playthroughs. Like yeah, like, oh, I'm I'm playthroughs. definitely yeah. I'm a hundred. I mean that's that's what that's what I think is going to be the best thing to do is just like a tutorial tabs. Mm. I'm a hundred thousand percent making tabs. You're making tabs. Um, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm making tabs. I'm, I'm, I I'm my, my part. Okay. Uh, my part specifically. Um, um, just because I do a lot of very like specific and complex stuff. I just need to, I, I, I don't have the latest version of guitar here. I just got a, uh, not guitar hero, <laughs> guitar pro. Yeah. Uh, I and I gotta, that. I gotta write that down. Cause I also want to include the tabs. I, I want to try to include them in an overlay on like playthrough videos so that people can see what's being played. Yeah. Cause yeah. I don't like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a fucking stand on a soapbox here. I don't fucking Thank like you, this Mill. idea of yeah. guitar playthroughs being these fancy, like, like, like all the space is all dressed up and it's, just meant to make the guitarist like look cool like, like i kind of get it but i'm like but like if your playthrough is not showing anybody about the parts or anything like that and it's just like it's switching all these angles and you can never see like what the part is and like what you're doing mm. and whatnot i'm like what's the point what's the <laughs> point you look you look cool in music videos just do a music video yeah. Um, I want my playthroughs to be something somebody can watch and be like, "Wow, I want to like, oh, cool, like this. This is how you play it, and this is what it's like playing it." I, if if uh, my the way I would like to produce, like, say, a guitar playthrough video is a static shot, like one shot, face on. No, I I could say all the things I have in mind. It's just a static shot, and uh, and then in like like split screened in a way where like you can see the one straight on the whole time and then a close up on the fretting hand and a close up on the picking hand so you can see what yes. the picking is doing and so you can see what the fretting is doing yeah. yes cuz there are very intentional parts where like i'm doing i'm doing things that might sound like i'm doing something else but if you watch my picking hand or anything like that and yeah. and yeah and i just I, I don't know it just always irks me whenever someone's like oh play through video and then it's like this like zoom yeah, michael bay effects. guitar playthrough, <laughs> and i'm like i don't want this i don't yeah. fucking want this i want i want to see how you play the song i don't want you to fucking yeah. do all these zooms and head tracking and shit <laughs> i i want to do some tutorials we've already got some uh I, I mean i've already got sheet music for the parts that we commissioned the the strings and the marimba and the horns um so that would be easy enough to uh, to to release. So the easiest and I think form. least requested so far. Just yeah, <laughs> which, is, which is nothing against the parts at all. It's just yeah. I think more people um, play guitar. Somebody asked if if any if any other. <laughs> Wait, well, I I can't see the, the question now, but uh, the the uh, uh, if if any other music is going to take as long as the first and second album, um, impossible to say. The first album took so long because we were all working day jobs. Um, the second album, I mean, pretty much the, the same. same yeah, we were so the, the same yeah. and, and pandemic, the pandemic. Yeah. yeah, the pandemic put us like a year behind. Um, the the thing is, we really don't want to just keep putting out music just to do it. Like, it's always going to be a matter of like, I I want to make the best music that we can. Like, really, you know, give it the time it deserves to be the best it possibly can be. Um. And it's hard to say how long that takes, you know. We've we've explored ideas of with the next record doing some stuff that might help it come together quicker. Um, 
Like, like I've been very into the idea of trying to do more, uh, like full band live tracking, like the classic thing and just go into a studio, play through the song, you know, do vocal overdubs and then you've got it, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, but it's, it, it, it's hard to say, like, we really don't have much of a, a, a North star for it right now. You know, mm-hmm. like, uh, I have like five different things that I'm trying some of it is probably going to, you're probably going to hear solo music from me before anything else. And then maybe the next thing you'll hear is William's solo music. Hopefully. Uh... Yeah. The one thing I'm trying to, I really want us to run with is the idea of like, I really, I really want to like up my fucking engineering game because as much as this album was fun to do, I really want to like, I really want to try to close the gap as much as possible from like, just recording something to being like mixed because I, because there's obviously like a, a part in between, but there's like, there, there is so much going on, uh, yeah. like on, on this album that like, you know, of course, like we'll do stuff and we'll experiment with stuff, but like, I, I really want to try to like close the gap as much as possible of it just being like, of like capturing like almost the finished product, like right then and there. Yeah. And then just like, all, all that's left is unforeseen like interaction like you you can't i really like the idea of recording before we totally have a grasp on the songs you know like it's like oh i know the chords but my part's like a little iffy and you're kind of improvising a lot like yeah trying to capture that stuff is kind of appealing to me but also, but it's one of like five different ideas that we're toying with so also funkle dunkle thank you uh i am the lead guitarist just a just uh to let's, let's let you know, know who you. I am. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what, oh yeah, somebody, wait, somebody, somebody was they saying something they, about. They said something about me being based, and I was like, Oh okay. Like, yeah. We were sitting in that recliner with <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, somebody, somebody was saying something about uh, about trying to figure out who played which parts on the album. I. Or which guitar parts? I guarantee you, anything that sounds really impressive is Lane. Like, <laughs> I, you you have impressive. You no, that. okay, actually, no. Uh, my rhythm guitar on Cul de Sac is extremely complicated. And mm-hmm. and that that and the chorus of guitar song, the finger picking on that, those are the most complicated things I play on it. I go out of my way to write the simplest parts I can. Like <laughs> I try to do two or three notes at once, and like you know, just really simple chord voice. It, you know, it's it it it's very it's very restrained the way that I play. You know, and not that you don't play restrained. You just you just you just oh, play no. more notes. Like yeah. <laughs> We, just, if, we, we have a you, very different approach to, to writing guitar parts, I think. Yeah, yeah. If you knew how, like, how genuinely, like, legitimately good Lane was and, yeah. like, what he could do, you would understand that he is a very restrained guitarist. <laughs> Wait, I mean, Lane, like, <laughs> you, like, you, you, like, like yeah. you, like, musically come from more of, like, a prog metal kind of background, and I come from more of, like, a punk and indie rock kind of background. Like, I think yeah. that's kind of just what it, our, our defaults are kind of two different extremes, but we both try to both like push ourselves and also like restrain ourselves, like depending on what it needs, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you yes. have the plastic death vinyl? We no, we don't. No. <laughs> I keep forgetting I, to ask. I'm so sorry, everyone. I, can't it. <laughs> I feel like we were supposed to get the first run, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we're getting those uh, glow in the dark. No, we're not. Yeah. That's Sad. fine. Maybe well, we'll get it. For us, but... <laughs> I really want to check our local record store because they do have a glass beach section. They, it would be they the do. orange one. Oh, cool. The orange. the orange one is the one that's going out to stores. I'm I think pretty that's sure. my personal favorite, honestly. I really like I... the Magic Circle one. That one's so good. I saw Circle that. My favorite. Yeah. I bet they don't have any now. Fake fans. <laughs> <laughs> the thing great. is, I kind of just assumed Run for Cover would send us shit, and I, I realized we, we actually have to like ask. I think we did ask. Oh, okay, we did ask. I, for yeah, one. I don't know. I, I, I think we did. Uh, I think they just still don't have our new address. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. I've, been, I've been talking oh. to them about that. Yeah. So. I hope it didn't get sent to the old one. No, no, they, okay. they, they haven't sent anything. Okay. They haven't. Okay. Sent it's anything. more like I just hope that they held the glow in the dark ones. Yeah. Yeah. It would be cool. Um. Also, this was a little bit ago, but people were asking about this album having. A documentary it, it will it will yeah yeah yeah. we've got a lot of footage um i'll say right now um it is we are going for a very different vibe with the documentary it's See, gonna people be referring to get back is actually pretty yeah accurate. yeah i our, our sort of, so so we have not actually edited any of it yet but our vision for it um is is like not not like what we're doing right now where we're sitting on a couch talking about it like we did for the first album it's gonna be um, taking all this footage we have and letting these uh, these scenes just sort of play out, and we're gonna go chronologically through like our past like four or five years, pretty much. Yeah, 
Yeah, and there's a ton of footage. There won't be one like this for the third record. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that outright. We'll probably have to explain this forever. But mm -hmm. uh, something, well, we do have something an I, idea for some kind of yeah, documentary. Yeah, I have a, I have a documentary idea yeah. for the third one already that I'm really excited about. Uh, that I wish we could film tomorrow because <laughs> uh, I just like I just have uh, I, I like the ideas a lot. But first song ideas yeah. for plastic. But the death. second the the uh, thing we learned in like recording footage for the second documentary was that it was like really limiting to to me particularly because mm -hmm. I was recording I, I, every, every time we would have a conversation or every time we would be working on something I'd like grab a camera and it's just not a fun way to live <laughs> or to like be involved in like the art process so especially near like the end of the writing recording there's like a lot less that we filmed and yeah. then and then during like the mixing portion there was a lot more filmed and like j film stuff on their own and all that kind of stuff so yeah the third the third album will have a documentary that is like a completely different and will have much less footage probably as well yeah okay. I'll, I'll couple be, questions I, i'll yeah. be i don't know what that means but, it's tf2 but, <laughs> TF2. It's because oh, okay, because okay. we were talking about you being an engineer earlier, oh so they're making tf2 jokes engineer! i don't know um, if it was a callback okay. to a very old stream where i said two fort and nobody <laughs> but jay knew what i was oh, talking yeah. about but everybody said two fort and it was magical <laughs> thank you all for humor okay i've got a backlog of a couple questions that i want to cool. that yeah. i want to get through um yeah, i might have just forgot the first one can i can i like scroll up yeah on yeah, here? yeah yeah um feel free let's see let's see let's see let's questions. see i don't know oh, what the that first, voice is like the first Eric, song ideas just week. just use your huh? most texas accent Dispenser going up. Yep, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, okay, the the first song ideas for Plastic Death. Uh, CIA was the first one, um, because I, I I've I, I've said this a lot now actually, but we 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 started working on the CIA before the first album came out. Mm -hmm. Um, it it and then like, I think I think uh, Rare Animal and Comatose were probably the first songs that i started writing after that that was like 2020 um I, most of this album i wrote on this like uh, shitty classical guitar that dax's dad found in a dumpster um while dax and i were living in this apartment like right next to our landlord and i had to be really quiet so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wrote a lot of uh, especially a lot of the like hooks for the songs uh I wrote then, and then it was it was when we moved in together and started jamming that uh, it it came together more. Okay, so next question is the third album already in the making? We have songs. Yeah, we have songs that may or may not end up. That on may the or album. may not end up. Yeah. yeah, that's the other thing because there's a lot of stuff that we were working on real early with Plastic Death that just did not make it on the album. Like, there's kind of a point where it's just like, okay, let's try anything, um, and then and then you start to. You start to kind of be like, oh, I like this kind of vibe more than this one, and then you start to find songs that kind of work together, and you know, you you find the uh, the 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 vision from there. There there's a lot of stuff early on in this with this album that uh, that that got scrapped, especially like I mean, at first I was I I kept writing stuff that just felt like a shitty copy of the first album, and the stuff that felt as far from that as possible was the shit that just ended up more exciting to me. So. That's why it's so different. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I remember a really, really early demo called Wildflower or Sunflower. Or yeah, something. Wildflowers Bells. Wildflowers Bells. I loved that. And then like that, that came from one of my Dada poems. Yeah, mm. like Marimba song. Yeah, is, was a particular favorite of mine that didn't end up going anywhere. Oh yeah, um, Marimba song. And then Mingus Chords. Mingus Chords is uh, another one. Yeah. yeah. I really hope we get back to those. And then on the for aforementioned something, machine, but... or I guess I'll call it Body Without Organs now. Yeah, Body Without Organs. The thing is, like, if Whoa. you're if you're really if you're really into like like postmodern philosophy, you have to pretend to know what that means. But I don't think anybody actually knows what it means. If yeah. if you're in chat and you can, if you're in chat and you know what Body Without Organs means, please explain it to me in the Twitch chat. Go. <laughs> <laughs> also, if people are interested, Dax uh, uh, has a Patreon where he posts like a lot of, um, I mean, just like art generally that he's working on. But there are high res versions of the album covers on there, and oh yeah, uh, and Dax also has a sticker club, which like you kind of you just missed a, a, mm. a sheet of Allens of mm. Abyss Angels. So I'm gonna be doing another order of those but the, the only reason i haven't yet is because i have no 
clue how many I should or like I don't I, I got 25 to mm. start with they went out to the club members and I had like four or five left and they went within like an hour of me yeah. putting them up on Kofi. So I'm like pre- too much ontology. Cause that's going to be like, I, feel like- I, I kind of feel like I should. Uh, um, I just don't want to keep people waiting for them forever, but I, know. I think that would be a better way to limited pre-order. Or something. Yeah. And then I'll get like maybe an extra 20 or something on top of that just to have them yeah. on hand. Cause I like, I like sticker sheets. They're really I, cool. Uh, by the way, I see the body without organs is like referring to like a lack of organization of, of existence or whatever, but I, I don't think that's the full picture. Like... Yeah, I'm sticker club people. <laughs> it, 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 it... <laughs> um, the 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 Dadaist lyrics. I I mean, it it, it it's hard to say. I I've, I've kind of I've kind of uh, I've kind of backed away from from saying that too much because I do think people maybe take it to be like oh so it's just like random words it doesn't mean anything and it's like no it's more like it's more like uh it's like word association or something like like uh, or 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 like like an inkblot test or something like it's it's like it's like the source of the words is random but the ones that like i end up putting in songs and the way that i put it with other stuff like it's it's uh it, it 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 always contains like a lot of meaning to me, you know. It's just kind of a way of finding myself in the odd combinations of words, you know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I had I had a box with a bunch of fragments of lyrics, and I pulled random shit out of there to write lyrics. But hmm. it like I I didn't actually Did use that for that much of it. Oh. Most most of the lyrics were stuff that I like meticulously like wrote and rewrote over and over again. Um, but that's sort of that's sort of ethos of like let's take two things that don't belong back to back. Um, yeah, sigil signs in hexadecimal hues. Uh, I mean, it's it's a reference to the internet. Like it's it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. It's it's uh, uh, the 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 full in the grass is the is the natural world. Uh, sigil signs in hexadecimal hues is like something greater than than nature that's entirely virtual you know <laughs> cardboard Jake, boxes have people. brands do we like los campesinos uh i hope they all die uh <laughs> yes we like los campesinos yeah. <laughs> st- jay remember you can hold the mic back a little bit because you don't have a wind suck um uh, okay I think wasn't Los Camp like Los the... Campesinos was like the the they were some of the first people to to notice yeah. our first album. Yeah, and a shout out. No, they're great. Yeah, hope to see them if we ever go. They're like UK based, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Short Fictions is going on tour with them. Cool. Yeah, they're gonna Ooh. they're touring the US, USA. Oh, I would see that show. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same time as ours. I can't remember. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like there was another question that I wanted to answer a bit ago that I just don't Maybe. remember. I can let you scroll Maybe. back. Well, let's get a last round of questions. Yeah, here, we'll do a last and then round. Start and... wrapping up because I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh sure yeah. I'm not alone. Absolutely. I know that we could be here all night talking about this. And then we'll we'll wrap time. this up and this will be a VOD. Oh, the blood in the YouTube. trees. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's to do with, with family trees. Like, I I mean, you know, if you look at the lyrics, like, there's a real fixation on body parts. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Someone else was asking hey. about the family nexus theme. I, I talked about that okay. earlier. Cool. Why um, well, Seattle? We love Seattle. Yeah. Because uh, it's not it's fucking easy. hot as balls all the time. Because I can yeah. breathe. Dude. No, I, I you know, I, I have, uh, you know, oh yeah, Seattle is a queer haven, definitely. Um, I also just love, I love how cold and rainy it is. Like, mm-hmm. actually, I'm, I, I'm kind of disappointed. It hasn't been rainy enough. Like, mm-hmm. I was hoping it, I was hoping it would be like every day, and it's like not. I there was to, like a, it needs there were two more. weeks where it like rained every day. It almost, needs to rain yeah. more. <laughs> I need shorter days. Like I'm actually I wish the winter hit harder. Yeah. Honestly. I'm 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 <laughs> honest you, Jay. I'm honest to God yeah. disappointed. I need to move to like Alaska or something. Yeah, days are getting longer <laughs> again and I'm like Fuck. Yeah, let's move to Alaska and pay fifteen dollars for, for a pack of crackers or something. <laughs> but uh <laughs> but um Oh it used to rain more. Oh wait okay, wait, there was something that's oh, true. The the thing I was saying about blood, uh is blood in the trees related to Blood River? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because Blood Rivers is is about veins. It comes from uh, Fireworks by Animal Collective. I was talking about that on Tumblr yesterday. Uh, you can look at that if you want. But uh, but but it also, I believe, comes from the Book of Revelation or something. I don't know. 
I, I I always just kind of accidentally stumble into biblical references. Like it's what happens when you spend like half of your life Christian. <laughs> like <laughs> the J Tumblr is glass dash dash beach dot tumblr dot com. <laughs> it would be cool to to tour outside of North America. Uh, first, we really have to see how touring is is going to be with us taking precautions. And yeah, stuff we're, like we're that doing because sort of a test of our. It, if it plan. if it goes well and we can find a way to to do it, you know, in like in different places and whatnot, then yeah, that would be great. But like mm-hmm. more than anything, there are I there there are a ton of bands that have to tour and continue doing that to to even make a living. So understandable, but it's just incredibly hard and actually incredibly dangerous to be touring and possibly getting sick and possibly spreading stuff around yeah. and. I don't know. It's, it's it's a lot, and I got a couple questions to get through because yeah. because yes. I, I do want to answer these. Uh, I, the the Glass Beach version of Color Bars that I'm assuming you're talking about the one that's the the B side mm-hmm. or not the B side, the hidden track on the vinyl. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's done. That is what it is. Uh, it it was really inspired by uh by uh, Frank Ocean's Endless. Um, what the fuck. What the fuck else? Uh, oh, yeah, the Fursona hitting the bong. Yeah, that was some beautiful art that Dax did because he was like, what should I draw your Sona doing? And I said, uh, hitting the bong. <laughs> and he did a great version of it. Spent the rest of that night just being like, yes. Um, get the exactly right. Oh, I was going to say the thing about blood. Like, yeah, it's just it's just an extremely potent metaphor. Like, what can I say? Like, you've got... You've got <laughs> you got blood as a representation of family. It's also inherently like violent and like grotesque, you know? And then, you know, you get into vampire metaphors or whatever. Like it, I, I now have a list of words that I am banned from using in my lyrics and blood is one of them. Uh. So <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just happen my way into the same metaphors all the time. And the only way I write lyrics that I actually like is if I just like avoid cliches, you know, which I felt like I did really well on plastic death. Like I, I, I'm all, always trying to find noun, verb, or noun adjective uh, combinations that have never been used before. Uh, the thing I was referring to as breakcore is the cut song, mm-hmm. uh, which we'll release. Yeah, someone asked if there were gonna be B sides, and not officially. We don't have plans for that, but that that might be a song that we worked on. For There's the nothing else that that's be... finished. Like yeah. <laughs> like the song that we keep talking about, we cut right before. Uh, Oh yeah, it's like, grotesque. Right before mm-hmm. finishing the mixing. Yeah, right before the mixing. Yeah, no, no, I love the grotesque imagery. I don't know. I got into like Cronenberg when we when we were working on this album, and I I love the way he uh, mixes like body horror and like flesh with technology and stuff. I it, it says a lot to me. I don't know. Uh, it's body horror. Uh, all body is horror. You know. <laughs> yeah. I want to address this question. Will masks be required at the shows? We are not able. To require them, some, mask some of most... them are mask required, yeah. and the uh, venues should say so on like the ticket sales yeah. and everything. So that was our intention. Um, yeah, we okay. wanted to. We tried to, but <laughs> it is not the state of the country that that is possible. Um, so, but, so, so the U.S. is being yeah. mean anyway, to us. We cannot require it. We are. Please, please do wear masks because, like, like Lane was saying, we're we're trying something here. We're hoping that we can find a way that we can tour and feel remotely okay about it. But yeah. it does require safety cooperation from people yeah. to wear masks and be yeah. cool. So. All body is also if it, yeah. if it <laughs> if it requires if it takes this for for it to justify to you like even, even if you're not worried about your own health even if you don't think COVID's a big deal there are people amongst us and in our Torian potty who like among it's, us it, <laughs> <laughs> who it's it's like it, it could be a life-threatening thing it could be I, a life-threatening thing for everyone, but yeah. yes, yeah, yes. yes. But, but I mean, I mean, like directly, immediately. And yeah. my thing is, is that like, if it takes, if it takes that for for it to justify in your head, just know that if you come to a show risking that, you are putting people in danger, like life or death danger. And that might I mean, sound like a, like hyperbole, but it's true. Okay, uh, question for everybody that that I wanted to get to those a bit here. Uh, what 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 do you all think is the most avant-garde song on Plastic Death? So I, like most most experimental or, or, I or was strangest. Say, so motions came to mind first, but I think yeah. I'm gonna say uh uh, uh fucking um oh no f- f- fountain um whale fall. Yeah. Thank you, whale fall. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just I, I, the only other place that I have heard marimba and 
uh, like program complex drums in combination as Dallas. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, it's 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 very it's very out there. Yeah, yeah. Slip under the door is kind of the. I don't know. I mean, avant garde specifically. I really, I really, I really like. I really believe "Slip Under the Door" could have been a Blood Brothers song. Like, there's not a single part of it that doesn't remind me of them. (laughs) Coelacanth is so focused on like the 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 sort of like wave structure that builds and like and like settles and whatnot on top of like all the the weird like time stuff going on and the fact that like shit changes up like throughout the song and whatnot and goes a lot of different places and Jonas doing like synth bass over like this thing that like if Jonas hadn't done synth bass then that would maybe make it not as avant-garde for me but like I feel I feel like just Coelacanth is is just kind of the the most out there it's kind song. of hard to categorize one when you take it exactly all on its own I mean a, a lot of oh thank you about my hair <laughs> no <laughs> hopeless con- content or content um uh d- 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 I gotta say I mean a lot of people a lot of people say it's all just like art rock and I think that's kind of a pointless label I mean to me the term art rock is like the term intelligent dance music like all dance music is intelligent like it, it it's it's not like it's not like a fucking caveman can make that shit you know like even even like the most like bro step shit like it's it takes some knowledge and skill you know and I feel the same about rock. Like all rock music is art. Like I think, I think, I think that there's a level of pretension in terms like that that I just hate because I don't ever want to be like, oh, we make like smart people music. You got to be smart to understand. No, fuck you. Like <laughs> you have to be stupid to like them. <laughs> no. no, I mean it, it's, it's, it's 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 it is it is. It is two things. It is two things. Yes, sir. It is a matter of taste and it is a matter of like like emotional connection to it, mm-hmm. you know? Cuz cuz there's there's plenty of music out there that that like is going to connect with I mean all music will connect with some people and not with other people. And there's plenty of music that people could be like, "Oh, this is really dumb, like punk music or something." That like I mean it has like political resonance to it it has like you know there, there there are artistically innovative things inherently about punk music you know you know like it's 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 just it's just a bad label i don't know your your fucking caveman comment has me expanding upon that fucking joke <laughs> the other day crunk me and make electronic music but think Think hard. <laughs> <laughs> do 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 I hate the term math rock? No, I mean math rock is just saying it. It's just saying that there's a bunch of odd time signatures. Mm-hmm. I think it's very odd when people want to call some of our music that because we do use odd time signatures, but not very often actually. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian McKay talking about emo. Yeah, I mean all music is emotional. That's that's the other thing. It's been very strange to see where people place this album in relation to emo, because to me it was always more emo, but a lot of people are saying that this is just not emo remotely. You know, the yeah. first album to me, I don't get why people think it's emo. I mean, I, I do, I do, but I wouldn't call it that, you know, mm-hmm. like, like taken as a whole. Like, I think, I think it's just, I think it's just, uh, emo is like, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a homeopathic remedy. Like you have the tiniest dose of it and suddenly <laughs> it's that, you know, like, mm-hmm. like, like if there, if, if an album is 1% emo, then people who hate emo are not going to like it, which means it's emo. <laughs> you know? I'm seeing yeah. people, this was up a couple times and this is more, this could be a last one, but, uh, they're asking if there is one genre or like description you would put on glass. No, that would be. And I mean, I don't think we can. I um, experimental I, rock I, or experimental, I guess, because we're that is like one core tenet I think of us is we are always, we are literally always experimenting. I think that. I, I mean, I, I've yeah. I've said shit about this for years, but I think the like the traditional conception of genre like makes less and less sense. Yeah. Like, mm. Midwest emo should only come from the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Does not make any fucking sense. No, I think I think I think genre. Um, I mean, genre has its roots in in well in, in a couple of things. One is like local scenes that makes sense to me because you get these like insular sort of communities of uh, with similar ideas, you know. And then there's like marketing categories, which it's like I mean that's like that's marketing. That's not real, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
and then and then uh and then you also have in like in like record stores or whatever i don't know i mean it all kind of comes from the view of music as a product and like you got to take things and put them into boxes so that you can sell it to the right demographic or whatever you know and i think i think these days with the internet there's so much cross pollination between genres that it just it, it's it gets harder and harder to draw lines and it becomes more and more absurd too you know mm-hmm. i i just oh I, <laughs> I know what escape room and bubble grunge mean <laughs> it you know it, it is it is very funny uh no I, those are those are weird terms but it is it is very funny to me whenever those like Spotify rap things come out because you do get people who are like what the fuck is bubble grunge and I'm like yeah wait I've never heard that before and then you get people who are like what the fuck is Midwest emo yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah but I, I I don't know I mean I, I I get the utility of it for talking about um yeah you know like oh if you like this you might like this you know but mm-hmm. but it it just it just has never it's never it's never applied to me like i i feel like if anything our mindset is like punk at the core Mm -hmm. like it's just like we just want to do things that are are raw and emotional even if it means being like really provocative or transgressive you know and that is a core like i mean i i I don't did you play in punk bands in high school lane like i know the rest of us all did punk uh yeah i mean i i don't i don't know how many of them i would label as very traditional punk Mm -hmm. but I did. I did play in some. Yeah. But, uh, World music is like the worst genre. Yeah. I, I I fucking laugh and roll my eyes so hard when I see the the subtitle in a movie. World music plays. Yeah, I know that movie's bad. World music just means yeah. everything yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's ridiculous. It is. Mm-hmm. It comes from such a like imperialist like perspective. It's it's it's, it's the it's same annoying vibe as like when another subtitle reference, but just like was it unintelligible because someone has an accent? Yeah. yeah. Shit. No, I, I, or I, or I think... like speaks Spanish instead mm-hmm. of like. Yeah. It's, it's like. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I I I think the thing that really that really irks me about the genre stuff though is a lot of people want to use genres to create an objective standard to hold us to. You know, mm-hmm. like it's like, oh, you say this is emo and then it's like, oh, well, it does this. That's not very emo. How is this emo? You know, like or, or it's like, oh, this is prog rock. But like, where's there like a pop song on it? If it's prog, you, 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 you get what I'm saying? Like it's 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 it, it it's kind of cr- trying to force it into it, force us into a box that we're not even trying to be in. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like we Don't just we just kidding. do what we think sounds good. Like that's yeah. kind of that's kind of the. We're, we're, we're really trying to have we... fun and make music we think is beautiful. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we'll always do. All yeah. right, I think that's it. Yeah, thanks so, everybody. Bye. Yeah, thank you all. <laughs> um, we're we're, we're gonna put this up as a vod, obviously, as we said before. And if you're watching this on YouTube, all music is emo. Go. Yes, all music is emo. All music is email. All people are gay. Yeah, all music is email. Is that... <laughs> all music you can is say email. That. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks everybody. <laughs> uh, and this all was email is music. Cool. So, all email is emo gay. is jazz. Yeah. Country right. is emo. Okay. <laughs> all right. Can I? Yeah. Just get <laughs> beautiful people inside my computer. Wait, Jay, start talking so they can like interrupt you. I think that'd be funny. Where's... Um, if Radiohead were American, they'd be considered emo. <laughs> <laughs>